Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Simplay Motorsport here for your Thursday night action. That's right, it is the pro drivers taking to the track tonight, and it should be an absolute belter of an evening. It is the night race here at Monza, and what a race this should be. Apologies, I do have somebody's stream coming out my phone there, so I do apologise for the noise you may have just heard. Yes, I have done an orthodox stream on. But we are live. It is the round 13 and 14 of Monza. I am your host. Matthew Duffin, as always, being joined in the commentary box by my pro commentator, pro co commentator, PN Motorsport. PN, good evening. Are we looking forward to this one? Uh, good evening, Matt. Yeah, I think we're looking forward to this. There's about the same number of cars on track as there was last night in Pro Am, and Pro Am was interesting, to say the least. Um, yeah, let's see how the pros handle these tricky wet conditions in the dark at Monza. It'll be fun. Yeah, like you say, the tricky wet conditions in the dark here at Monza. It was very difficult last night until the track started to go a little down. So it's going to be interesting to see what the drivers can do. There is no Fury tonight. He will not be making tonight's race. And we are expecting Borsche, Dennis Newman, Gary Leach and uh, Ramey Fernie to be joining us in the racing tonight. So uh, hopefully they all get on. Gary's just gone. Now, there we go. So, Gary is now in. So, we have got 21 cars out there on the grid at the moment. So, great to see. One thing you may notice tonight, though, is when we go to an Xbox driver, their lights are very dim. Dan may have covered this last night, but the lights are very dim. This is a glitch between Xbox and PlayStation. We cannot see their lights as easy as we'd have liked to or, you know, as easy as the drivers out there would like to. It wasn't too odd as a driver last night to see uh, bits go wrong but at the moment it is the man who came in last week on his debut and took a race win it is that man Sully who is the quickest driver out there once again and by six tenths of a second at the moment PN yeah but looking handy that Matt, Matt, Matt Black um, McLaren is going to be really hard to see tonight but at the moment I'm just getting my um, weekly um, B12 dosage from the Hoffman's Aston as the championship board then looks a little like this, it is Dan Davis, currently second place out there at the moment. He leads the way 11 points from his teammate, who is currently eating a kebab um, pre-race diets and all. He is second place, 11 points behind. Dan Joe is third, but not here tonight, which means Alex Powell has a good chance of climbing up the leaderboard. He's currently sat in the pits as well. Gary Leach, who's just got in the lobby, he is down in fifth place in the championship and a real good chance to go ahead of Joe. Overtaker back this week after being absent last week. He returns. Drops down to P6 in the championship standings, but he's still in for that P3 fight. He's only 142 off the championship fight with 452 points. So mathematically, everything is still possible for him at this stage of the season. Sky Schundelmeyer is then a little bit further off the back of him on 297, tied with Jamal Clowden, who has had a good season climbing through the ranks. Ramey Fernie is MP9. He's not yet in the lobby. Then it is Graham, who is looking decent out there as well. Uh, in the Team FBR car. Luke, absent tonight, P11. Then it is Simon Blair, who looks pretty quick around here at the moment in P12. Paolo is in 13th place. He's been quite consistent and gone under the radar a lot this year. On Ash, P14, no longer with us. Siri is then in P15th place in the Championship. We'll look to go ahead of Nash tonight. Then it is S2M Burabex running in 16th place. Clarbel running P17. He's not here either. Sam is the next man. And just trying to find Sam's name on the list we did have Sam a minute pits. to go is he he's, he is yeah, he's P20 sure. apologies P20 for Sam Darren Yo works tonight he's P19 De Hoffner is back in his Aston Martin he is currently P20 P21 is Andrew Taylor not with us tonight Jay Ward is then P22 and I believe Jay Ward no it is Luke Damon who was on a qualifying ban and he'll have to serve that next week as he is not here today Losser is then out there as well. He is currently P23 in the championship. P Williams is P24. And then it is Coutiers, De Fizz. Dennis Newman, like we said, not here at the moment. P27. Graham Sutcliffe, P28, not here. Globebrighter, not here tonight. He's P29. Sully, as we've said, fastest man on the circuit so far. He is P30 in the championship. Then it is Tukowski in his Audi, P31. Missed back after last week. Borsheri, we're expecting, is P32. Dembrave, P33. Shaggy is back out on the track tonight. He is P34. Then it is tech leader Costa Marshall. And then two new drivers. Roy will not be with us tonight, but Harris is. And Harris on the leaderboard. He's currently rounding out the P10. So a good start for Harris 
at the moment out there on the track today. And PN, it's already Sully, who had great, uh, such a good debut. Well, a hit and miss debut, I suppose, last week. A win and a 13th, but I believe a pole position to his name. Yes, it was a fastest lap. It was a great start to his season last week, and he's topping the timing screen, uh, sheets out there again. Yeah, it wasn't a bad day. I thought it was probably the best day you can get, really, winning your first race. We're, we're crossover for second race. Things didn't go according to plan, but... Yeah. yeah, they didn't go according to plan. And one thing as well was his, his pace was phenomenal. Even though the, the plan didn't go well, he'll be starting high up the grid in this first race due to it being reverse championship order. He starts from P4. He's a man who really could win this race. Well... If he's going to be six tenths of a second faster than everybody else in the race, he'll be, he'll be gone. And he's... Look, we got, we, he's mathematically still in the championship. He could be out of it by tonight, but he's keeping himself in it somehow. Um, yeah. As I go back to... I missed this last week. To Hoffman's V12 asking. It was sorely missed. And... Um, Gary has now entered the track, um, driving around in his Porsche. The Constructors' Championship then looks a little like this. It is simply racing. 264 points clear of BTC. Jaeger with the Haggis Munchers, a further 129 behind them. Team FBR are P4. They're actually only 112 behind the Haggis Munchers, so they're closing the gap there. Ottinger All-Stars P5. Red Rum racing on his own P6. Joe leading the Independence. Button Bash racing just behind him, but you feel overtaker tonight will leapfrog Joe in that independence class and it's greasy bandit racing stage two motorsport bdm as an independent head of effect motorsport jb racing independent no longer with us two old ams and an audi sport racing team uh, who haven't we been on let's go on simon blair manufacturers and mclaren won it last week it is mclaren from bmw with ferrari lamborghini porsche mercedes aston martin bentley audi honda and nissan have scored a couple of points as well and aston martin and mercedes having a good scrap there is 32 points separating them but as we know on pro night there is one two three because luke's not here only the three aston martins to score points and no mercedes so for mercedes for aston martin a chance to get ahead once again of that the mercedes aston martin battle and then it's um, vice versa in Proman with no Aston Martins and what three? No, there is M M MB Pitts is Aston Martin, and there is one, oh. two. There's two Mercedes because oh no, there is three because of John Gooder. Yeah, three Mercedes, and then obviously in Pro there would be Tech Leader as the only Mercedes driver out there tonight uh, the other battle to start watching as well is ferrari are actually trying to close the gap to bmw well with no fury here tonight and only m harris in that bmw you've got mike matthews jay ward simon blair and graham all in a ferrari meaning that they could close the gap to bmw in that manufacturer standings as well it's a game on for second place really here pian this is going to be a fascinating one to watch throughout the season well in it's like f1 really when BMW used to buy a proper beard of constructor with Williams it was the last time BMW and no and then Sauber wasn't it when he bought Sauber yeah Sauber the team that everyone gets hands around Clarence out on track it does look quite dark when you're looking at some of the Xbox users it does indeed good evening to Clarble in the chat Micro J's or Ted J's as we call him, Micro Ted, um, and the uh, Sparking Gamer Vlog. Uh, welcome as well. Evening, Jamie Brazier into the channel. Going to be good to see. Borsche, Borsche has just joined the lobby, so we're up to 22. Uh, who's caught my eye? Well... Alex is looking rapid this second half of the season, the Aston Martin. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's really improved as Alex. He's really sort of come to the front. Um, Mike Matthews currently down in 13th. We know he has been eating a kebab, so he'll be uh, obviously raring to go for this second race. The rain's getting wetter over the next 10 minutes and a half an hour, which means it's probably going to get wetter going into that race. Yeah, because this session goes straight to the race, so it's definitely going to be more than mildly moist. Who do we think in race one? 
Oh, it would put Sully if he's starting P4. Easily. <laughs> if you can get around everyone clean, through the first chicane and the um, second chicane, then that's very wide by Shaggy through the Lesmo 1. And he's took out a break marker. And the other break marker, well done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go for Sully for the next one. Yeah, I think I'm going to join you there then. Uh, Borchette is now in. So we are on. And Ramey Fernie is now in. So the only driver we are missing is Dennis Newman out there tonight. Obviously, Fiori now a no show, which means we are only missing Dennis Newman in this race. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, PN, isn't it? It is. It's got to be tricky, especially if the opening laps when the field's still quite bunched together, in theory. Unless there's a incident on the back straight between the Lesmos and the Scarry Chicane, like there was in race 2 in pro -Am last night. Make sure you go back and if you haven't seen it, watch last night's stream. Real commentary by Dan Davis. Good plug in. <laughs> it, it was interesting in pro -Am. Very interesting. Yeah, it was indeed. Um... Just going through here, sorry, just trying to make sure I've got everybody on the grid that is meant to be here. Of course, the people don't show up. It, man, because we put the grid in the server, when we go live on the server for the race, it's going to leave a gap in there and it might put someone in the wrong position. And Well, we've had it before where somebody's missed. I believe it put Jay in Pro-Am to the back of the grid. I believe it put um, Overtaker got put to the back of the grid during one race. Um, so, you know, it's put a few drivers to the back of the pack when it shouldn't have so you know hopefully it doesn't do that again well yeah because you may think it'd be easy to overtake when Monza but it's wet yeah <laughs> exactly it's exactly. wet this time round it, it's it's not like a tight twisty Alton Park or Hungara ring yes it is Monza yes it is one of the fastest circuits on the calendar but it, it's also going to be tricky because the cars are going to be throwing off a spray and you see that yeah. spray a lot more on the PS5 version and the Series X version than you do on the, back on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Autumn Lynn, good afternoon to you in the chat as well. Then eight minutes left of practice as the weather is getting worse. Alex Powers moved up into P4. So it is uh, Sully from Dan and Overtaker. Dan and Overtaker, in fact, to be fair, Alex Powell, pretty close together of them three, only separated by seven hundredths of a second. Then you've got Graham within a second as well, Simon Blair. Mike Matthews still down in 13th. Gary Leach at the moment, four seconds off the pace who we're on board with. We've just lost someone. I'm trying to figure out who. Sully <laughs> down, Overtaker. We have lost the driver, we just dropped down to 22. And we should have, what, 24? 23, we're waiting for Dennis Newman, so yeah. Possibly lost one, hopefully they can get back in. Um, on board with Mike Matthews, and he's behind his teammate Dan Davis out there on the track at the moment. Mike's finished his kebab. Yeah, he's obviously <laughs> enjoyed that, got it down him. Wonder what was in it. <laughs> well, Don meat, I'd imagine. Good evening to Peaceful Stepdad and good evening to Fat Bloke as well. Looking forward to another good stream. He says, yeah, hopefully we can put on a good show. Hopefully the pro drivers put on a good show as well. Jacob in the chat. Come on, Ginger Harris, he says. So great to hear from Jacob as well. Obviously, if you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the bell to be notified. We're back live next week. Rounds 15 and 16. No. Yeah, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, rounds 15, 16 next week as we do now back, all back up to 23. It was Ramey Fernie who we had lost, I do believe. No, it might have been Shaggy because Shaggy's ping is quite high and that would then drop. Uh, yeah, so as we go to Suzuka, we go to the land of the rising sun, Japan, next week for the race. Should be an absolute belter out there. As Mike Matthews comes towards the line. See, Mike's been in the pitch for a long time now. Times might not start to improve as... Obviously, we are into that phase of the track getting wetter. Everything, sort of the spray coming up worse. Not really, you know, getting any better conditions. Why? So it's a lot to do. Here is um, Harris, our new driver. 
As uh, Autumn oh. Lynn in the chat is Sky's wife. So there we go. Great to have Autumn Lynn here. I wonder where Trace is. Which is Sky's mum. Sky, aka Exist Tibbs. Or Agent Tibbles. And we'll the... go back to Harris when he's out there on the track. Losser in his Lamborghini Evo 2. With five and a half minutes left of practice. Uh, PN, overtaker, obviously missed last week. Starts up the grid a little bit tonight. What can he do from them couple of grid positions higher than what he probably would have been P3, P2 in the championship? Well, you've got to survive first, especially around here. These are very tricky conditions for anyone. That don't, you could be eight temps up the road in lap times, but if you can't get through the pack because they're all falling over each other and you get involved, and it could be curtains and a lot of damage here. Who surprise you, especially in top? Well, just asked Slam um, Hypertech last night, he had a red engine, didn't he? Apparently, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, a, a place where you don't want to be, um, have engine damage where you need the horsepower. Well, it was from the incident off the start line, and then he's uh, yeah, sort of hit the back of Kelly and, and got himself some big engine damage. Bush is still out there on a lap at the moment, four minutes 43. Um, just looking to see there's a lot of drivers still in the pits now obviously the, the rain is getting heavier in the next 10 minutes as Porsche goes around at the Parabolica the rain is getting heavier in the next uh, 10 minutes or so and then it's going to sort of stay at the level it's at so the track conditions may start to improve after 10 minutes but it, by that time and, and again we'll show the drivers the timetable there we go 9pm it's actually a 2 hour gap so whatever that weather's saying in that top corner is it going to be what it will be at race time? Because obviously we have that hour in between where the weather can do all sorts. It could. It could. I would say the sun come out, but not at 11 in the morning. 11 at night. <laughs> yeah. And there's no heat really in the temperature, so it's not going to dry as quick as it would. No, although in the next half an hour, the rain's meant to decline. So... That'll be a bonus to see that declining for the drivers then coming into that first race. Yeah, as I just saw something, but somebody crossed a line you shouldn't cross coming out the pit lane. But you didn't kill it on your, your end, so unfortunately. If anyone's caught doing that, that'd be boom. So here is M. Harris then out the pits on his debut today. We can't see him brilliantly. But he's in a BMW M4. It looks like a, a dark blue livery, a navy blue liveried coloured car there. Obviously, Suzuka next week. Daytime race. The rest of the season will be midday on the time zones. The weather will get locked in tonight for that Suzuka race. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens at Suzuka. But M. Harris, new driver to the league, car number 34. What can he do, PN, tonight? He's obviously coming from the back of the pack. Learning his trade here at Simplay Motorsport. What can he do? What's he got to do to to get point uh, to get a good result? Oh well, again, survive. That's what they've got to do first. As Jamie's said, telling me to throw him in jail. Yes. Oh, that's okay. Overtaker who's in the wall. That's coming through Parabolica. Am Harris has just gone past Overtaker inside. in the wall. Yeah, on the inside. Now, notice last night, Ken, that it was very twitchy and slidey through there as Harris moves up to P9. So I wonder if Overtaker's just got on the, a couple of the puddles that may have formed. I've noticed on the track age. We're also back down to 22 drivers, so we've lost somebody again, and it is not shaggy. No. Uh, well, another thing I noticed is the edge of the track is does get very puddly, because I found out on a race start and race one, and it was like, well, I'm on the grass now, I'm just going to stay here and let everybody go past. <laughs> Indeed. So Sully's coming round parabolic and now and we get to see what he does in his matte black livery as is Alex Power but we get to see Alex's lights being on the PlayStation console and Sully crosses the line doesn't improve on his time 69 is the next car which is much nuts one and a half minutes left so drivers will be on their final laps of preparation here again free practice so lap time doesn't really count for anything does it it's all about what you do in that race it, yeah well this practice is to make Rob. sure you got your setup right we're all back at 23, so we are okay. Apologies. Yeah, it's just to make sure you've got your setup right, but again, it's going to be completely different because in two hours' time, it could be two degrees colder. Yeah. 
and that'll make that makes a hell of a difference on tight tents. Oh, massively. So Mike Matthews will be the next one to the line. He will get a lap time on the board. Then it is his teammate Dan Davis, who uh, we got a bit of stick from Nova in the Discord channel the other day, saying as if you've done Dan dirty like that. If you haven't seen it, it's the little YouTube Shorts video. Um, we didn't do Dan dirty. That was Dan all himself that did that. As Mike's now coming towards the line, currently 1.9 off the pace, crosses the line, now stays exactly where he is, as does Dan. No improvement there. Overtake is now on a lap. I imagine he may have a bit of damage to his car, though, if he did kiss the inside wall. But again, lap times means nothing. He's going to get one more lap in just to test the waters, literally, around this Monza circuit. He crosses the line now. Doesn't find any more pace there. Gary 131, or Gary Leach, as we know him, has 4.1 off the back of the next, uh, off the leader. And funny thing, when Gary won his first championship, he won it around the outside at Parabolic at, at this track in these conditions. So, won his first ever Simplay Motorsport Championship in these conditions around this circuit. Alex is having wheel problems. He's just, that was him who jumped out the server and jumped back in and see if he could ah, get his that he's wheel working. That's what he's just put in Discord. Right. Yeah. So, oh, so interesting. I don't have that problem being a patch user. <laughs> Being on control, I don't have that issue. All I have yeah. issues with is probably stick drift and a spongy um right trigger. The sparking, <laughs> sparking gamer was a good clip. That it was a good clip. What we'll do is, actually, let me find the clip and I'll put the clip in the YouTube chat. Or if you go to the YouTube Shorts, make sure you go over there and take a look at it. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Dan did it all himself. We can't take full credit for that. That was all Dan Davis. Um, it was. Yeah. And it was brilliant. It was remarkable. It was absolutely fantastic. So then, session is coming to an end. Mike Matthews the last, is the next one to the line. The 277 of Boucher is still out there, but he's finished his times. Overtaker, car 21 of De Hoffner and car 42 of Jay Ward. They're all on invalid laps. It is just Gary and Mike. Mike is coming into the pits. That was a little quick from Mike. Hopefully that's not going to penalise him. Gary's all out of shape. We're on the grid, Pierre. And the grid looks a little like this. It is Shaggy from Bolshare on row one. Tarkowski and Sully row two. P. Williams and Losser row three. In fact, no, P. Williams on his own as there is a gap. And that gap... Is where Dennis should have been. Is where Dennis Newman should have been. Then it is Losser, J. Ward. I'm just going to load up my screen so I've got, I can make sure they are... The right position. So Shaggy Borsher, Tarkowski, Sully, then Dennis, then Williams. So, yep. Yeah. Then Losser, Jay Ward. Yep. Yeah. De Hoffner and Sam. Yep. Yeah. Estuan Borobex and Siri. Yep. Yeah. Paolo and Simon Blair. Yep. Yeah. Graham or Fernie. Yep. Yeah. Cloudon, then Sky Schundelmeyer. Yep. Yeah. Overtaker, then Gary Leach. Yep. Yeah. Alex Pau, then should have been Joe. It is now Mike. And then Dan, and then M. Harris. But if we go on board Mike a second, what I want to see is, is did that, we can't at the moment, did that leave a gap between Mike and Alex like it did the other drivers? Because there's Gary, then it goes to Alex, and then, yeah, I believe... There is a gap. Yeah, there is a gap, Mike's, yeah. Mike's on the same side of the road as Alex. He's yeah. between the cameras. So there is the two gaps from the drivers. So luckily enough, it hasn't glitched the lobby where it's put somebody out of position. That's a bonus. Yeah, everyone's in the right position, let's fingers crossed. Alex just said in Discord he's stuck up 60% full speed back, so he's, his arms are going to get a wor workout. <laughs> Oof, yeah, aren't they just? It could be worse, it could be 100% full speed back. <laughs> As they begin the green flag lap. Warm up them brakes, warm up them tyres as much as you can. But you don't want to take too much life out of your tyres either. It's a very fine line. So the poll going up now for who you think will win the first race. If you disagree with any of them, folks, make sure you tell us. D. Borsher, Sully, Shaggy, Tikowski. I'm going Sully. You're going Sully. Yeah. So the pair uh, is going uh, Sully there. Uh, Shaggy leads them around in his golf liveried Audi. Because it is golf colours. Let's face it, it's not colours. Right. So who will win the first race of the evening? This is going to be the interesting one as well because there's plenty of points up for grabs. 452 drivers' points up for grabs. 
I was just looking at. And 852 yeah. constructors points up for grabs at the moment. Based off of it so far, only Marshall, Roy, and Harris cannot win the championship. So bottom three cannot win it, and every team can win the constructors as it stands. Even the independents can still win the constructors at the moment. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to keep our eyes on. It's going to be an interesting one to see as this night develops. Track temps now eight degrees. Yeah, so it has dropped, and if you look, the rain is just going to stay at heavy rain for the next twenty minutes. Yes, it's going to increase in half an hour, but in a twenty-minute race, that isn't going to matter because then no. we go, we pretty much then go a full 20, 22 hours to get to nine p.m. on the Sunday night. Again, there's a look at the uh, at the schedule. Nine p.m. Sunday night is the next race, so that will change once again. You know, the the weather will be completely different once more. Yeah, and looking on some of the cars, it is wet out there. Well, judging by even the reflections of the cars well, and the um, camera. Let's just go down towards Dan Davis, towards the back of the pack, who is going to be right in the thick of this pack here. Now, yes, they're not up to racing speed, but let's just go on board. In fact, M. M Harris we're on. Uh, I think the same news you can't see. And, and this is on board M. Harris. Look at the spray. And this is at, you know, 80 kilometres an hour. This is at slower speeds. And that is his vision. You know? Yeah. It's nothing. <laughs> it's, it's, it, is, it is bad out there. It is bad out there. And we, we can't got... press drive until we get to the start. Probably should have done that after. So I've got to find my way to shag it. There he is. On board to start with, Shaggy. Into the... No, no, don't have to be on board. I can change cameras, but... Yeah. But it, we should be double file now, because the call for double file is after this Scarlet chicane. There will be a cap, because we... Sh unless... The, yeah, there is a... It looked like there's a cap. So I don't think we're going to... Oh, um... Oh, that's Harris. Harris yeah, yeah, Harris has just dropped it on the formation lap. So that's he, not the debut he'd have wanted, but they're all rounding the parabolica now. Yeah, there is a gap in this where yep. um, Dennis Newman should have been. Which means there should be a gap then. Where Fury was. But as we come down towards the line... We're going to press this as quick as we can. And any second. And we are green and go here for the start of the race. It is Shaggy who leads them all away from Borcher, who's looking like he's getting a good launch. Tokowski. It is McLaren's on the left. It is Audi's on the right. Tokowski. It's Shaggy, though, who keeps the lead down in towards turn one. Is it going to be a mess at the start? They all break in. Shaggy side by side with Borcher. Silly as well. Looking around the outside. It is all coming through turn one pretty cleanly at the moment. Borcher's had to cut the first part of the chicane. That is a car backwards, and it is Siri who is backwards. And I believe there's a McLaren and a few others caught up in that. Clowden was the one. So all through pretty, pretty cleanly. And he's shaggy right. from Borchere. In fact, no, is that Sully that is up to P2? It is. And Sully's already looking side by side with Shaggy. So he's gone from fourth and he leads coming into the second chicane. Out the curve of Grande. Sully's in the lead from Shaggy. Then it is Borcher. Although there's a few cars off at the second chicane, that was Shaggy and Borcher who were defending for their lives. Now we're going to wait for these drivers to come through the pack. I believe Dan Davis and Mike Matthews may have been caught up in that one as well. Siri and uh, Sully. Uh, so it is Sully who leads from Shaggy. Borcher. Then it is Tikowski. Jay Ward is having a look up the inside of Borcher though. In towards the second of the Lesmos. And is Jay Ward. No, he's off. He's off. He's in the wall. And that is Borcher with him. And they've now just got to wait for everybody to come flying past. So a move there that has not come off further down the path. That was a car out wide. I believe that may have been Borough Bex. Not too sure, though. They're all coming side by side down the star straight. Overtakers up to P12. He's had a good start to his race. Oh, he's had a big clout up the rear. That was from a blue Aston Martin. I believe that was from Sam, who is getting overtaken. An almighty shunt up the rear and overtakers off with big damage to the front. And Sam's tapped him off again. Oh, Oh, this is chaos. I'll wait for Jamie to comment. Chaos in the chat. <laughs> so Sully 
Coming through the parabolic cross, a two-second lead already from Shaggy. Then it is Tukowski, P. Williams, Losser to Hoffner. Bora Bex were probably going to have to wait as they cross the line. Is that uh, Tukowski having a look? No, it was not. In fact, it may have been because he's got ahead of Shaggy, I do believe. No, he hasn't. De Hoffner. Moot gets a fastest lap. He's fifth. Losser. Uh, Borough Bex. Gary Leach now moves up to P8. Then it's Paolo side by side at the minute with Sky Schundelmeyer as they come down towards. Uh, the first chicane at the moment. Here comes uh, uh, Sky Schundelmeyer up the inside of Paolo. Later on the brakes, Sky Schundelmeyer through. Great manoeuvre yeah, from Tibbs. Win. He's on the back of his teammate now. So then it is after Sky, after Paolo, it is then Remy Fernie. That is Mike Matthews missing the chicane. So again, the grid order is all done. Mike Matthews gives that is Remy Fernie the position back. So Remy Fernie moves back into P11. Then it was Mike Matthews. I believe that is now Simon Blair, who is not there, actually. So I'm not sure who that is attacking Mike Matthews around the outside. It might be his teammate, Dan. It could also be that of Graham. It is his teammate, Dan. So Dan's ahead of Mike Matthews. That's crucial for the championship. No, he's not. Mike stays ahead. Then it's Graham, Alex Powell, Sam, M. Harris, Cloud and Siri, Borshear, Jay Ward, an overtake has only just got back to the pits. That shows the extent of his damage. Yeah, that does. And, well... Meanwhile, four and a half seconds in the lead is Sully. Yeah, checked out up front. And uh, Tukowski at the minute looking side by side as they come down the straight up towards the uh, Ascari chicane now. Here comes Tukowski up the inside of Shaggy. Thank you, Mama, for the carrots. Great manoeuvre up the inside. Lovely work from him then. That is Borough Becks on the back of Losser. Just behind them is Gary and uh, Exis Tibbs. Paolo just behind them. Then Simon Blair. Then it is Mike Matthews who is currently... Got a car between himself and Dan Davis. That is Dan Davis pretty much pushing Smokey through the Ascari chicane right up the chuff of him. And now Dan looks to get a better exit. He's not quite close enough at the minute. Dan Davis so crawling all over the back of the McLaren driver. Pulls out now. He's going to be aquaplaning on the puddles that he's on that inside line. And breaks a little earlier than Raimi. Raimi's gone very, very wide though. Dan's gone through. Oh, I thought Raimi was losing the call there. Graham also picks up another place. What about Alex Powell? Does Alex Powell get ahead? Graham's going to pit. First man in in the pit window. And um, Gary's Oh, and in Gary as Leach well. as well, yeah. And I believe Clowden is in. Alex Powell gets ahead of Raimi Fernie. Now Clowden does get in. Borshear stays out. Jay Ward was in on the pit window. So Jay Ward has actually done his stop. Shaggy has now got P. Williams trying to gain on the back of him. Shaggy, though, sticking with Tukowski at the minute at the front. Is this Shaggy having luck? No, he's not close enough. Then it is to Hoffner. Currently P5. He's got Losser. Uh, not far behind him. Then it's Borough Bex. Then it's Sky Schundelmeyer. So Gary's pit means that he is cleared. Simon Blair looking racy on the back of Paolo. Simon Blair late on the brakes. Uh, tries to have a look up the inside. Can't get the move done on Paolo. There's Mike Matthews. There's Dan Davis. That was Paolo who had to take to the escape road across the chicane. And is he going to let Simon Blair through? I believe he does. Yes, PN. Simon Blair is mm -hmm. through on Paolo. Simon's got a little bit of pace here tonight, hasn't he? He's got a lot of pace. Good evening to Tracy in the chat. G Leach done. Graham done. Cloud and done. Jay Ward done. Overtaker done. Overtaker's just come back out on the circuit as car 42 Jay Ward has nearly just put a lap on the overtaker. So for overtaker, first race back, a lot of work to do already. Yeah, yeah. Hell of a lot of work to do. Meanwhile, the leader's now up to nine seconds. Yeah, he's, he's checked out up front, but credits to Overtaker as well, by the way, for keeping going in this race. Doesn't want that qualifying ban for the next time out. As Sky Shundermeyer gets a great run over S2 and Borough Bex through the Ascari chicane. He's now going to come down the back straight towards a parabolic, and the inside line is not the line you want as long as the car on the outside can get it braked and turned in. And Tibbs just couldn't quite there. Looks to tuck back underneath where all the puddles are. He's done it an absolute peach on S2 and Borough Bex. Are they going to pit? No, they don't. And Sky Shundermeyer side by side. Fantastic racing from the two McLarens. And it is Sky Shundelmeyer who is looking the better of the two Borobex coming back at him in the straight line and for Sky can he outbreak S2M into turn one great racing from both no he can't he tucks back in behind and that is a great piece of driving from them two Whoa. as Losser off at the first chicane into the wall Dan Davis has also got ahead of his teammate Mike Matthews it, it, we'll say Paolo, Paolo's just done his stop Shiri's in the pits as well um now, I'll tell you what, Gary might just get power though. Here comes Gary now, he's about to stop finish one. Yeah, he's got power though. 
So Gary jumps Paolo. We're watching the battle with his teammate Sky Shundelmeyer and S2M Bora Bex. And you have to say Tibbs is looking rather racy tonight. He's going fantastic. Sully's got his oars working overtime, says Jamie in the chat. S2M a little slow through the first of the Lesmos. Look at Mutz Nuts coming on the back of S2M here. Shiri is now away. So where will that put in when the uh, timing screens update? But at the minute, Sully absolutely racing away out front. And it is Sky Shundelmeyer we're watching here. Having a fantastic fight with S2M Borobex. Mutz Nuts, Simon Blair is catching in the background, though. Yep, and quietly, four seconds up a hard road of Borobex. Here's to Hoffner in the V12 Aston. Yeah, good He's result for the V12 Aston out there at the moment. And now, great little slingshot. Tibbs has a look again. He's not quite close enough. He thinks about pulling out once more. This time to the inside line of the Parabolica. No, he's tucked back in. Is he going to think about it on the brakes? No, once again... Has to wait behind Borobex. Maybe an undercut for Tibbs here. Is the strategy to play out? But a great start so far. Tukowski in second place is into the pit lane. Does anybody out of this train think of pitting? Not at the moment. And Simon Blair is now on the back of that Sky Schundelmeyer. So he is coming to play. He's within a second. Yeah, and Dan's only a, one and a half second behind this. So, Mike know, Matthews, Mike Matthews, by the way, just pitted. And he wasn't a million miles off the back of Dan. So is that a good tactic from Mike Matthews to possibly jump these four? Yeah, get, get into some clearer air so you can see what you're doing. Oh, it's that is Harris it. over the chicane at turn one. We did, we're not going to go back to that a second. We'll stay where we are because this fight is raging on. And this guy's trying to catch on to the back of S2M, who's just pulled away a little bit. Dan... Just starting to reel in this of, Mutz, not of Simon Blair at the moment. Yep, as... Um, oh, Shaggy's made a mistake. Shaggy's just made a mistake. Apologies, he's down now by P. Williams and Offner. And uh, this is Borough Bex looking up the inside into the first of the Lesmos. They just lean on each other ever so slightly. And that is S2M through on that of Shaggy. Shaggy now coming under pressure from Tibbs at Lesmo. Two Tibbs six better of it. And while these are all fighting on, this is going to allow Mike a good bit of pit stop. Borchere now has done his pit stop. And Tukowski does lead that of the lead pit runners. Oh, Bush here. Speeding in the pit lane. Yeah, speeding in the pit lane. That'll give Overtaker a lifeline. Yeah, well, should do, shouldn't it? But he's lost nearly a lap. Uh, he, may, he may have just unlapped himself though from Borchair. Tibbs gets a good run over Shaggy onto the back straight. Tibbs is in the thick of the battles here. He's having a good race. He's ahead of Shaggy. Now Shaggy's coming under some immense pressure from that of the Mutz Nuts. And here comes the Mutz Nuts. Already pulls out on Shaggy. Going to look up the inside into the parabolica. His Mutz Nuts. Simon Blair doesn't get the car in front though. Has to stay where he is. So is not great. At the moment, and is anybody going to box? No. Yes, Mutz and Dan Davis. Yeah, they're probably seeing, seeing Mike's pace. He was just pitted. Because Mike... Well, just close. Fermi, Fermi in. Harris in. Oh, that of Sam has just wiped out the speed marker, I think, for the pit lane. So they're all in. Tukowski is the lead runner. Gary Leach actually got in front of Mike Matthews, but he was ahead already before the pit stops. Yeah, he was already ahead, so... But now, uh, people are probably going to get caught speeding. People might get caught speeding. Simon Blair off the uh, limiter, not just yet. Dan Davis has jumped Simon Blair in the pits. And where's Mike Matthews? He's coming through now. Gary Leach, will Gary Leach get ahead of the two that's coming out of the pits? He's got ahead of both of them, yes. What about Mike Matthews? I don't think he'll get ahead of any. He's possibly going to get ahead of the Mott's Nuts. He does indeed, so he's got ahead of Simon Blair. But his teammate is still ahead of him. But now Dan Davis has got to get past his old rival of Gary Leach. Yeah, um... Meanwhile, Sully's nearly got enough time to change the gearbox. <laughs> He's half far in front. 96 speed in the pit lane. Yep, 96. That is Sam speeding in the pit lane. Bush, yes, that's a stop go as well. Uh, no sparking game. At which one? Me or the other guy for working at Alton Park? If so, none of us do. Um, now, my name is just Snetterton. <laughs> Sam under pressure one. from... Uh, Alex Pow, and I believe Alex Pow has now got ahead of Shaggy, so he's through. S2M still under pressure from that of Tibbs behind, but Gary Leach now is going to come under pressure from Dan Davis and Mike Matthews, and all these three will be in a party together. Overtaker now. 
Where's he on the circuit? He's at the first, the Lesmo. Sam is at the second chicane. Borcher is at the second chicane. Having a fight with Raimi Fernie. Them two have got stop-go penalties. I think Overtaker is potentially on the same lap as these guys just when he crosses the line. So Overtaker, a chance of maybe getting two places. Alex Powers in the pits. Dude, has Alex been caught speeding though? That is the question. We know the limit board gone. Well, we'll find out. Ian Gray in the chat at this rate. Sully could speed in the pit lane uh, just for the fun of it, says Ian Gray in the chat well what an opening race it has been for him Alex Powell is now coming out of the pits he's got a short distance to go but Gary Leach is going to take that place from Alex Powell this puts Gary up into P8 at the moment Dan Davis gets Mike's through as gone. well as does Mike Matthews and Simon Blair and potentially Paolo and Cloudon and Graham but Gary versus Dan it's the old rivalry going at it once again here and Dan Davis has had the number of Gary a few times this season but Dan a little twitchy Simon Blair off the circuit Mike needs to hope that Gary holds Dan up a little bit here and lets, gets Mike back on the back of him yeah um, again he's two seconds off P Williams the Hoffner yeah but yet to pit though so we'll see when the pit stops yet come around pit. Sully 21 seconds ahead of P Williams he could probably afford to change his tyres at this rate at this rate because the gap to Tukowski is pretty much a lap nearly what number is Tukowski he's number 884 who is at the second Lesmo, and the leader's just crossed the line. Uh, yeah. Sam and Borcher in. So while we jump back to this Gary fight, where's Overtaker? Second chicane. Sam stationary, Borcher stationary. So, all right, Overtaker might not get them while they're in the box, but he'll be closer to them on the pit exit. So as Williams comes in, Gary Leach is now getting down within a second. Oh. Mike, 1.7 behind. Bubba Beck's in, Tibbs is in. Sky's in. in. Sky's in. Shaggy's in as well. Yep, so they're all in. All but the top two now to pit. All in, and they've got three and a half minutes left. Just looking at Sam. Sam's away. Borcher is now away. Overtaker is at a scorey. So, yeah, all right. He's not got past him on the stop go, but he'll be closer, a lot closer to them. A lot closer to him, but he's also going to start getting the problem of being lapped. And you have to move over. Leader's still got to pit, though, so we'll see what happens. Leader has still got to pit. If Sully keeps this up, he'll lap the whole field in the 45-minute race. Might be different, though, in the 45-minute race, great, because Sully started P4. Everybody else started at the back, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. The rain, though, is getting worse as this night rolls on. Gary still has Dan Davis behind him. Mike has got a little closer, and uh, Tibbs has actually came out. He's jumped Borough Becks. But Sky Shundelmeyer has come out behind all this lot. So where's P. Williams in this fight? P. Williams has yep. just gone round the curve of Grande as Gary Leach is. So P. Gary Leach, P5 at the moment. Not bad. Not bad race for Gary. Wishing it was Oh, Williams cut the chicane. Yeah, just saw that. Where's Tukowski? Tukowski's only four seconds up the road. So Tukowski's going through the Lesmos. Sully's in. So Tukowski's gone through the Lesmos here while... These boys are coming through now, so Tukowski's not a million miles away for Gary to possibly get a podium. No, as does De Hoffner fit more. He's got time to do one more lap, roughly, but... No, he hasn't. De he hasn't. 1.53 one no, he a lap, he and he's not even at the start in. line. De Hoffner in. in. Gary and Dan side by side as they come to a Ascari. Dan on the outside line he's going to try and go around the outside of Gary at the Ascari chicane great respect given by the pair of them bit of contact made down on Gary and Gary has a little wobble and Dan's now going to sail through Gary dropped a wheel into the gravel trap there and was that from a little tap from Dan Mike Matthews as well gets past Gary Leach so a little bit of great side by side action but I think contact from Dan Davis on Gary Leach put Gary off of line and Dan's gone through yeah as Sully's done his stop Tchaikovsky's just crossed the line. De Hoffner's done his stop. But he's got to come off a limiter. Tchaikovsky's fast. 
Pete Williams is probably going to get him, and here come the gaggle of Dan and Gary. Yeah, they're all going to get to half. Who comes out the pits now? Gary's dropped a long way behind, and now Mike's got to try and stick to the back of Dan Davis further down the pack. Alex Powell is on the back of Borough Beck. So look at these lot coming out the pit lane. There you see is De Hoffner with Tibbs on his outside. And now he's got Borough Beck's on his outside, who tucks behind. Then it's Alex. Then you've got Graham, who's just got ahead of Paolo. Paolo's now going to try and tuck back underneath. Does he get the exit he required? The side by side. But Graham looks like he's got the job done. Look, though, with Alex Powell round the outside of the curve of Grande. Thank you, Mama, for the carrots. And Dan now can start to pull away from Mike a little bit. And have P. Williams on his back. Yeah. Oh, oh Gary man. Big Wiggle hobbles over the curb. And now uh, um, Simon Blair having a look inside on the first list mode. Oh, he's got to be close. S Simon's passed. Gary had another little wiggle yeah. on the curb. Yeah, Gary's having a few moments here. It looks like Dan starts to pull away. So it is Sully, who is coming down towards Parabolica from Tukowski, who's not even at the sector time yet. Crosses that sector time now. 21 seconds is the gap. Probably had time for a tyre change, did Sully. Then it is P. Williams, but he's got Dan Davis coming. Then it's Mike Matthews. Then it is Simon Blake, Gary Leach. Then Sky Schundelmeyer. And in a straight line, De Hoffner's Aston Martin is flying. Gary's off at a scorey. So his race yeah. has gone from bad to worse and was off at a scorey. De Hoffner a little wide as well. Down the order, Graham now looking on the back of S2M Borough Beck. Stage 2 Motorsport versus Team FBR. I believe they all are from the FBR stable. And just behind them, I believe it's Paolo and Shaggy. And no, it wasn't Paolo and Shaggy then. It may have been Harris and Cloudon. Harris P15 at the moment, so not too bad for Harris. Nope. Um, here come a battle brewing between P. Williams, Dan Davis and Mike Matthews. Yeah, Mike's got back with him four tenths. And this is not the final lap of the race. The leader's so far up the road, there might be one more after this. And this is a three-way battle for the podium. Tukowski, six and a half seconds up the road. Tukowski looks like he's probably set on the podium with Sully. And that'll be a great drive for Audi to get on there. But Audi, Audi Sport Racing yeah. team. But for an Audi in general, it'll be Audi's first podium this season. P. Williams will be looking at a podium. And this is why we love the reverse grid race, one of 20 minutes, because it can throw up some surprises like it. Tukowski and Williams haven't been on the podium all season. And he's just got to hang in, really, one lap, possibly, depending on if Sully decides to slow down. But Dan Davis, it's gloves off at Simplay Racing, you reckon, this season. It is Dan Davis versus Mike Matthews. This is the real fight that everybody's come to see. 11 points in it in the championship. Dan cannot afford a mistake because Mike Matthews will pounce. He will pounce indeed. Williams, Dan, Mike coming through. Dan's going to look up the inside. This time at Ascari, he now fancies the inside line on Williams. He's backed out of that one, though. He was a bit bouncy over the first couple of sausage curves. May have unsettled his car a little bit. It doesn't. But Mike not close enough to capitalise. No, 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 they broke away from Blair, these three. And the leader is on the final lap. Meanwhile, both um, BTC um, Jaeger racing boys are... You could throw a blanket over them. They're that close. Dan taking a tighter line through the parabolica compared to Williams. And I, I don't know if it worked for him or not. He seemed to get a better slingshot on the exit of the corner. And now Dan's looking to go up the inside of Williams, coming down towards turn one. Who is going to be latest on the break? So that's going to be the biggest question. Will Mike decide to follow Dan through? He doesn't look to be doing it at the minute. Can ill afford a car between himself and Dan Davis? And Mike's going to look up the inside and follow his teammate through. Dan's gone a little deep. He's had to bounce over the curb. And he's going to wait. He's going to be slow. He loses out to Mike Matthews and it's Paul Williams about to get through yes he does and what Mike didn't need Dan now has it is a call between the pair of them and Dan on the last lap of this race has got to get past Williams <laughs> the excitement building um, Alex has gone ahead of uh, um, De Hoffner I was just getting confuddled there don't mind me Gary, Tibbs, Alex Powell, De Hoffner all having a great little fight for 
Seventh, eighth and ninth, but it is P. Williams who's got Dan Davis putting him under pressure. He's gone a little wide, though, through the first of the Lesmos. Dan will have that inside line, which is a little tighter. Williams tries to outbreak Dan at the second Lesmo. It's not going to work. Dan Davis is up the inside and through, but we turn our attention to Sully, who won the sprint race last week from the back of the grid. He's now going to win the sprint race again this week and take the fastest lap. He's been a man on a mission, and Sully is the man to take yet another race win it is fantastic from Sully Tikowski looks like he's going to come home for second place what a result for that man that is incredible from Tikowski his best result was ninth uh, two weeks ago that was at Alton Park and he's going to come home for a P2 we'll turn our attention to that final podium spot in a moment but Tikowski will cross the line P2 for him and Mike Matthews has done enough to hang on in there. He's going to pull points back over Dan Davis. It is P3 for Mike. He pulls four points back over Dan Davis. P. Williams, great fight at the very end for P. Williams. What a battle. He'll take fifth place. Uh, then it'll be Simon Blair. Good race for Simon. P6 for him. P7 goes the way of Gary Leach. P8 the way of Sky Schundelmeyer. P9, Alex. P9, Alex Pau. Sorry, I'm just trying to input the results as we go. P10 for De Hoffner. Graham. Where's Graham on my list? P there he is. P11. Borough Bex will be P12. P13 for Paolo. Shaggy. P14. Not a bad race for Shaggy. Just made the mistakes at the beginning that possibly cost him when it comes to his pits. Can't find Shaggy on my list. <laughs> Too many names. There he is. Shaggy, P14. M. Harris on debut. Good debut. 15th place. Can be happy with that points there. Uh, then it was yep. Cloudon, who was P16. Not a good race for Cloudon, that one. Not his best. Siri was P17. P18, Losser. Uh, P18, Losser. Ramey Fernie. That's a bad one for him. P19. Yeah. P20 was Jay Ward. P21 then was Sam. 22 for Borchere. And overtaker P23 rounding out the rear then. That then is the end of the sprint race. What a race it was. We'll be back for qualifying in a few moments' time. Do not go anywhere.
Welcome back then, ladies and gentlemen, to Simplay Motorsport here for that second qualifying of the evening. The championship standings look like this with 396 points up for grabs. It is Dan Davis who leads the way, but is now only seven points clear of his teammates in this championship fight. So very, very close battle between them. Alex Power, 118 behind. Gary Leach moves up to P4 ahead of Joe, who is 30 points clear of Sky Schundelmeyer. Overtaker has now dropped down to P7 after Sky goes ahead of him. Jamal Clowden uh, excuse me, is 9 points off the back of Overtaker. Ramey Fernie ninth with Simon Blair. Good race for him up to 10th. Graham moves into 11th ahead of Paolo and Luke. Nash stays 14th with Siri dropping down. Uh, staying in P15. S2 and Borough Bex is 16th. Sam, 17th. De Hoffner moves up to 18th place out of Clarble. Darren Yo, 20th. P Williams, 21st. Good race for P Williams. Andrew Taylor, 22nd. Sully with a second race win is P23. Not far behind Andrew Taylor already and still somehow mathematically keeping himself in this championship equation. Jay Ward's 24th. We've lost to 25th. Tchaikovsky is P26. Great P2 for him. Gucci is 27th. And De Fizz who no longer can win the championship from 28th down, can no longer win it. Uh, Dennis Newman, Graham Sutcliffe, Globewriter, Borcher, Den Brave, Shaggy, Tech Leader, Costa, Harris, Marshall. And then Roy, who we are yet to see Roy and Marshall, but Roy was a new joiner for this week, got called away on work late on, so uh, will not be able to make tonight, which is a shame to not see him make his debut. In terms of then, the... Constructors Championship, 293 points is the gaps in play racing lead from BTC Jaeger Race. Now on 985 points, so can break that 1,000-point barrier tonight. Then it's the, B the Haggis Munchers, Team FBR behind them. The Ottinger All-Stars, P5, Red Rum Racing, P6. They stay where they are. Stage 2 Motorsport, go ahead of Button Basher, who is an independent. Uh, then it is Greasy Bandit Independent, BDM Motorsport Independent, Effect Motorsport can no longer win it, neither can JB Racing, he's no longer here, so, excuse me, that wouldn't happen anyway. Two old ams and an Audi Sport Racing team, even with that good result. McLaren, BMW, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, Aston Martin do go ahead of Mercedes, then it's Bentley, Audi, Honda and Nissan, and I'll tell you what, with them good results for the Audi there with uh, Shaggy and Tukowski. That could mean that the Bentley boys have to start looking over their shoulder with a few Audis. We all, though, no, joined fine, by... Yeah, we all, though, joined by Mike Matthews in the chat. And uh, what a race one that was, Mike. That was spectacular. Yeah, it was a fun race. It was um, pretty close at the end. Uh, due to Dan going a bit deep into Turn 1. Um, cost it for himself. But, yeah, quite an enjoyable race, to be fair, considering the conditions. Uh, it, it, yes, excuse me considering the conditions indeed it was the back of the pack start for yourself <laughs> so it was work to do what was turn one like obviously we've seen a few turn one incidents this season but uh, probably the most difficult turn one to get right in the dry and daylight you got it in the wet and, and at night time speaking of which I'm just going into it um, yeah it, it weren't too bad compared to previous races it was relatively clean a couple of cars were spun they stayed where they were and we managed to zigzag through them sort of cleanly yeah. uh, and then it was just picking off places as people struggled yeah indeed it was um good race though he was on the back of dan who, who had gary and I, I know you three are in the um party chat together D gary kind mm. of keeping dan at bay for a little bit let you get back onto the back of the pair of them to have a really good scrap yeah say so when he was behind gary it, that helped a bit and then same when he was behind Williams um, he held Dan up a bit and then obviously turn one I managed to make a move on Williams Dan went deep so I managed to get past them both uh, but yeah it was pretty good pretty even pace I think throughout the race seven points in it the constructors 293 points you can kind of relax when it comes to that as a team but are the gloves off? oh it's on like Donkey Kong are, are they off though? You know, a good fight between yeah. you and Dan. No team orders. Oh yeah, we, we, we'll have a good scrap, but still keep it clean. And if you go deep, you give the place back, sort of thing. Um, both been racing a while, so yeah, we have that respect between us. But yeah, it's going to be um, a fun last couple of races. It is, and it's got kind of Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton vibes to it, hasn't it? Bob being in the same team, it's one man going for his eighth world championship. And one man going for his first ever world championship or Simplay championship. 
Yeah, I think it um, depends who, who can befriend Gary the most and all came to hold up the other one, really. <laughs> uh, so, final question. Sully's came in, three races, uh, bar a poor race two at Silverstone. He's took two sprint wins, taking some points off for you and Dan. Yeah, he, he has some serious pace. Clean racer when we've had little races with him. Um, and especially in the wet, he's like a rocket. He's going to be hard to beat in the wet. Like a rocket. Mike, we'll let you get back to it. And PN, just want to point out, we saw last night in the Pro-Am that it was two race wins for the Ferrari and a podium tonight. So the Ferrari, pretty good. Ch Who'd have thought it would have been a good track around Monza? Well, the only F1 team used to do in the past is deliberately bring a more powerful engine at Monza. You know, when you could change it, engines yeah. every race. Well, every session, even. As... Um, Luke's in the chat saying greetings from the assembly and only the best for his team teammate Hopner. Yeah, I know that. We've got a P10 in race one. He did, yeah. He's good sorry. race, for, good race for that Aston Martin. Here comes Sully. Didn't improve that time around. Just looking who the next car is. It is two two seven. That is Graham. Uh, get your voting in the chat. Sully, Dan Davis, overtaker or Graham for pole position. As Graham moves into P2. Gary Leach is then coming towards the line as well. Can't see where Gary Leach is. Bosch is just coming out the pit lane. Jay Ward has just started the lap. Gary Leach is down in ninth. Uh, let's pick up car 81, who is Paolo about to set his first flying lap, and then we'll pick up Mike, who is coming through the Parabolica. Paolo moves into P7, and here comes Mike then rounding the Parabolica with eight and a half minutes left on the clock. 53-0 from Overtaker is the benchmark. So a great lap from Overtaker, who didn't have the race one he'd have wanted. He's got work to do in this second race. Mike Matthews, though, is going to come towards the line now. And only improves to P7. Car 34 is the car behind him. That is Harris on his debut. Not a bad outing, P15. So it was good to see. And here comes Harris towards the line. What is he going to set for his first qualifying time here at Simplay Motorsport? Currently goes P9, so quicker than a few drivers out there at the minute. It's 96 next to the line. Who is Sam, who was obviously the driver involved in that incident with the overtaker early in race one. Yep, and... Um... Pretty interesting to see what Sully can do. He just had a twitch coming through the um, two Lesmos. I was watching him at that time, so he would have lost a little bit of time there. Mm. With the car got tank slapping him. Alex is up there in the top four. Yeah, he is. Um, who won that race? It was McLaren, what wasn't was it? Sam comes to line. McLaren. McLaren now two race wins behind Lamborghini. Uh, Sam goes P12. Next car is 188. That is going to be then Sully. Four tenths off the back of Overtaker, I believe, has just come out the pit lane. Not sure who is the car behind Sully. It is Tibbs. We'll go to the 227 of Graham. Not sure who is just in front of him on a valid lap. Sully to the line. Finds a bit of time, but does not improve. I believe it is possibly Alex Powell who crosses the line. No, it was a driver further down the order. It was Jay Ward. Graham crosses the line. He doesn't improve any. Gary Leach will be next as well. What is he going to do? He moves up to P9. Then we've got Simon Blair, who is down in 17th. That is not where he'd have expected to be. He's had good pace, but this isn't the... Uh... He's up to 13th. Oh, he's up to 13th now. Brilliant see. Paolo <laughs> towards the line before the 1-1-1 of Alex Powell. Paolo does not improve. Alex Powell to the line now. He goes P3. Tukowski, just in front of him, moves into P7. So Tukowski has a bit of pace tonight, PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confidence buoyed by his podium. His brilliant little podium in race one. There's no improvement is... for Mike Matthews. Apologies. PN. Harris next to the line. One man I've not actually seen go across the line yet is Dan Davis, down in fifth place, a second off the pole time. A few drivers are sat in the garages. Series in there as well. Uh, Harris, no improvement on his P11. Here comes Clowden. Dan Davis actually just crossed the line, starts another lap. Clowden goes. P6. Next man to the line is car number 96. That then is Sam once again. And after Sam, it will be Sully. So Sully going for a few good laps in a row here. He is. Well, the tracks probably get a little bit drier as you're doing the laps. If with all the cars throwing all the <laughs> water in the air. Ian Gray in the chat. Has nobody told Sully it's still raining? Sully's doing pro am dry pace in the dark and wet. There we go. Uh, I mean, we was hitting 53s last night. Sam moves up into P11. Some of us was see what Taker does. Last night. Does Taker? Some of Taker us. Taker does. Yeah, does Mike. Taker was on an invalid lap. He just left the pit. Sully to the line. Finds another couple of tenths. So he's really started to put the hammer down. 
Sky Schundelmeyer. He'll be next. What does he do? Goes up into P10. Borchere. Is he going to improve on his lap? Is he going to put a lap on the board? He does. Goes P17. Simon Blair will be the next man. Before the car after that will be car 34. As Mike leaves the party and will go back into his own. It will be Harris. The next man to lap. Simon Blair. P16 then at the moment. So, so far, Overtake is the man who's got the pole position. Yeah, he needs the points back. He desperately needs the points back now. That is going to be a good, interesting race between him and Solly. Both in identical cars. Yeah, looking forward to seeing these two fight. Obviously, we saw Overtake fight with Nash, which was an interesting battle at the beginning of the season. Harris, then Dan Davis, the next man on the lap. Dan, one second off the uh, leaders of Overtake at the moment. Yeah, as uh, Shaggy's not done a valid lap yet. Shiri's in the pits. Probably Dan now improves. Probably. He goes within four tenths. He's gone up to P3. And the next man on a valid lap is that of Overtaker. He's got uh, Paolo just ahead of him, who's on an invalid lap. So work to do here for Overtaker. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I say work to do, by that, the work he's got to do is extend that pole position gap. Yeah, and Solly's in the pits at the moment. Probably got to put barely enough fuel to get round for one more lap. Taker doesn't improve that time around. 227 is next, that is Graham. Everybody tipping Sully, then Dan Davis, then Overtaker in the chat. So them reckoning that Dan will out-qualify Overtaker and Sully will take pole. He took pole last time out, did Sully? But we didn't have any Overtaker. Graham to the line. Doesn't improve. Going to go down to Gary Leach. 1.6 off the back. He moves up to P7. Good lap from him. Now let's go down to the 69 of Simon Blair. Not yet put in a lap that we can know Simon Blair can do. Now moves inside the top 10. It is the 884 of Tukowski, who's got some real good pace. He's got the bit between his teeth at the moment. Oh, oh he's no, not now. No. Oh. oh, that's a big shunt into the pit wall. That'll possibly be his quality over. Yeah, that'll be quality over. Oh, oh, I mean, I say that, he's got time to get out of the pits. He'll get one flying lap in. Overtaker's just returned back to the pits. No, Overtaker's still on the circuit. Is he? Oh, sorry, apologies, yeah. yeah. Not sure, yeah, I thought I saw the number 14. At a Scari off. But no, you're right. Overtaker is coming towards a Scari now. Here comes Harris. Dan Davis behind on an invalid lap. Harris 1.7 off the pace. Moves inside the top 10. Ramey Fernie the next car then on a lap. What can Ramey Fernie do? Nothing. Stays 18th. He's just not had great pace today, is Ramey. Nah, and he's Scottish, so he should be used to rang. He does it a lot up there. I know, I've been there. <laughs> Paolo, the next car on the lap. Overtaker is on an invalid one. Did yeah, Sully car. come back out? Yes, Sully's now coming to the power ball. He is, yeah. yes. So Sully will set the lap time after the Overtaker. They'll get one shot. Paolo, any improvement on 12th? No. 227, that is Graham. He'll get one more run at this. Will he find any improvement on his position? Currently Damn. P5. Is Mike and out the highest there? Ferrari. Is Mike he is, yeah. There? He's coming towards Ascari. He is the highest Ferrari. Here comes Graham towards the line now. Goes P3. Splits down the 227. That is Borchere who moves inside the top seven. Where's car 21? That is De Hoffner. Then it will be the much nut. Simon Blair. De Hoffner moves up to 16th. Simon Blair's up to 7th, so the track's getting quicker. Alex Powell. What can he do as he comes to the line now? doesn't improve Got is that then Dan one, Davis no it's not there's somebody just in front of Sky Schundelmeyer it's the 96 that is Sam who's currently 15th stays 15th Sky Schundelmeyer improves and stays 14th Mike Matthews to the line goes P6 within a second Naru's head of the 36 that is car 34 that's Harris that is Harris. Then it is the 16 of Dan Davis. Graham and Alex Power done. Dan Davis gets one more chance at this. Does not improve. Ramey Fernie moves up to 15th place. 
But the first man's complete qualifying's had a huge moment, and he's in the wall. It's Overtaker. Overtaker's invalidated. Yeah, he's just been in the wall. Oh, and he oh, returns to pits. Yeah. Just in front of Sully. So he kept the car stationary, and Sully was coming. And now then, Overtaker's made the mistake. Does this give the upper hand to Sully? He took pole at Silverstone for the feature race. He comes round the final corner. Is it going to be Sully for pole position? Here in Monza, in the night, in the wet. No, stays within one point at point one three three. He probably had a lift when he saw Overtaker's car in the middle of a track. Now then, Simon Blair, 1.1 off the back. What can you do? Dan is... Overtaker, two pole positions this season. The very first one, Simon Blair's done. So next car, 96. That'll be Sam. Uh, the very first one at Donington Park, and then I believe the feature race at Nürburgring was Overtaker's pole positions this year. And then he's been second on three occasions and 23rd because of a qualifying ban. Mike is done. Sam is now done. Car 34 will be next. I've just noticed Shaggy didn't get a lap time in. <laughs> he's been out there doing trying. So it is Harris, then Cloudon. Harris pits. Cloudon stays out. Can Cloudon improve? Currently P7. Will he jump out of Mike? No, he does not. Can Dan take pole position? No, but he goes P3, P3 onto the second row of the grid. So it is Overtaker who takes his third pole position of the season to put him tied with Arnash on three poles. Sully, P2, though, solid qualifying from the young man. Well, we assume he's young. Well, yes, good point. <laughs> well, most people are young compared to me. <laughs> Considering there's a four in front of my age. Oh, this is going to be interesting between Overtaker and Sully. Yeah. If looking looking forward to see this race. Yep, the console cup, whatever we called it last week. For the new seats. Where's For the new Sam? season. 16th. The Hoffner P17 and the, the the gorgeous V12 Aston. Oh, look at it. Oh, what a car. What a beautiful sounding machine. I, I, I think we need to do a little mini series of pre 2015 cars. Because <laughs> we've not seen the 650S yes, um, McLaren on ACC. And you've got the 2015 there, Sam, the 2015 Bentley. 20 seconds. Final checks. There's Matt puts in the qualifying result. 10 seconds. So, yeah, Bo Bo Boschere up in P9, qualify P9 for this race. That's yeah, Boschere P9, Cloud and up in P7. He didn't seem to have the best start of the race. I've inputted the qualifying results. Apologies there. And then you've got the um, prediction for the race. But it is overtake your man on pole position. Now, we can give you some stats because we know that is series at uh, Sully's second race win. For overtaker, that is his now 23rd pole position. He sits sixth in the all-time list of drivers for pole position. He's now two behind Gary, one th Gary Leach and Joe. And he's three behind big boy Brazier. So has a chance. You know, he's still got, what, three races left, three qualifiers left. Can go tied with Jamie Brazier. Or, can, you know, and go ahead of Gary and, and Joe in qualifiers in terms of pole positions. Uh, based on the podiums of race one, again, Tukowski's first podium, Sully's second podium. But for Mike Matthews, that is podium number 33. That puts him ahead of Andrew Taylor and Plava, Holti and Sky Schundelmeyer and puts him one off the back of Ripper and Ramey Fernie. Let me say good evening to you, but Benny Varga. Oh, Nexus. Nexus yeah. check. Go on, Benny Varga. Where's the, where's the PlayStation Nexus? I was expecting a PlayStation. All Series S. 
Yeah. Yeah, still joy. <laughs> next season, hopefully. Next season, we get Nexus back on the grid. Um, as well as for the McLaren now, then, with overtakes pole position. That is hick, hick, hick pole positions for the McLaren. That goes then well, ahead of standard. Audi. It is the third most pole positions for a manufacturer behind now that of Mercedes and Lamborghini. It is only one behind Lamborghini of being tied with that. In terms of race wins, the McLaren's race win in race one was its 62nd race win. And uh, who got pole podiums? Audi's got its 176th podium. McLaren's got its 189th. And Ferrari's got its 72nd. We are approaching a milestone for a manufacturer in terms of race starts. That is the BMW. Oh, and McLaren is now the second most used car here at Simplay Motorsport. So you think long ago, back to the Project Cars 2 days, everybody used Mercedes and Lamborghinis and Porsches. It now goes Mercedes, McLaren. <laughs> and you know what? Ferrari isn't a million miles away from Lamborghini. Yeah. And BMW, BMW next week. So what we got? We got Harris out there tonight. That'll put it on to uh, 488. I imagine next week if we have all BMWs out there, we'll be close. It, it will get its 500th this season. That is for sure. Um, which is then the next milestone in terms of other milestones for cars. I don't think there's going to be any really. Honda needs three wins to get to 25, but cranky duckhead. The only Honda. BMW needs four pole positions. There's only three qualifying... Uh, sorry, six qualifying. That's so doable. But BMW's had one pole position to McLaren's 11, Lamborghini's four. Ferrari, surprisingly, Pien, not been on pole this season. Neither's Porsche. No, but Ferrari's got a race car. <laughs> As Benny says, budget went on his old Audi. Yeah, oh, dear. Then again, um, it, it is a proper quattro. I'll, I'll get that. So, it's two wins for Sully against Overtaker's 28 here at Simplay Motorsport. Against Dan Davis's 76, the man who has the most pole positions. Who Who's your money on, Pian? Oh, it's got to be close, but oh, I reckon it's gone. Who should I put the curse on? Overtaker. Uh, we haven't been able to if, if you're going overtaker, then do you know what? I'm going to go Dan. I think Dan, Dan might sneak through, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go taker because he's got a bit between his teeth after that. Missed last week. One. Missed last week. Not the best Alton Park. Bad race one. He's due a good result. He is due a very good result. And um, Imola was a bit. Imola as wasn't well, his best, yeah. We hope to speak to you, though, but it is green and go for round 14 of the season. It's a, ble a, a blamey good start from Overtaker there. I don't know what word I've just said, but it's a good start from Overtaker there. He's already got himself comfortably ahead of Dan and Sully as they're all heading towards the first braking zone. Sully now comes back at him late on the brakes, round the outside. Sully goes, and Sully gets the move done! Yep. Sully round the outside. That was very De Silva-esque. It was indeed. Oh, Gary 131, by the way, has had to miss the chicane, so we'll have to give a load of places back. But it is Sully who leads this race from Overtaker from Dan Davis. And now Dan Davis getting a bit closer to the back of Overtaker as he looked a little understeery coming through the Curva Grande. Dan has a little look, now tucks back in behind Overtaker. And Overtaker's got some work to do here because Sully's now in the lead of this race and he's coming under pressure from Dan. But the thing that Mike doesn't need is Dan on the podium. Oh. Mike spun around. Mike's been tapped around in the background. Yeah, oh, just closely just drove into him. That was a bit strange. When Mike was stationary on the curb. And there's, t there's Sky around and Shiri is trying to avoid it all. So we'll go to this when it, the timing screen's update, but at the minute it is Sully from Overtaker, from Dan Davis. Then it is Graham as they all come towards the Sector 2 timing screen now. After Graham, it is then Alex Pau. Then it is Gary Leach. Then it is Jamal Cloud and Simon Blair. Harris is up to ninth on his second race. Borsche is 10th. Then it's Jay Ward, Sam, Borra, Bex, De Hoffner, Tukowski, Paolo, Shaggy with Ramey Fernie bouncing over the sausage curb. Then it is Mike Matthews. Then it is Shiri uh, P. Williams, Sky Schundelmeyer, who is at the back of the pack. Tibbs looks like he's got big damage on that car already. But already the front three started to pull away. And look at this, would you look? Dan Davis just slightly dropped from Overtaker. Overtaker looks a little closer to Sully than what he did a few moments ago. 
uh, also be the um, slipstream effect as well. The overtake car gets sucked by um, the, uh, the identical McLaren. Well, in game. We don't know what setups are, rather. Or pressures as into Whoa. the first chicane. Dan got scarcely close to the back of Overtaker there, just coming down the order a little bit to Hoffner. Trying to gain on the back of Bora Bex as well as defending from Tukowski. What Mike didn't want was Dan getting up the road. And well, Mike's now right. Mike's 19th. He's now 19th. He's. Well, Smokey's made a few mistakes ahead of him tonight. So. To probably catch on to Smokey. Yeah, I mean, Smokey looks like Fernie. he's got a bit of damage to Ramey Fernie to the front end of that car. Dan Davis is now side by side with Overtaker. No, not quite. Thought about having a look, but doesn't there. Tucks back in, does Dan Davis. So a good little fight here. And again, we said about Dan and Gary Leach in race one, two old rivals going at it. Well, how many times have these two battled on the circuit? <laughs> yeah, quite a lot back in Project Cars two days. And now Dan's going at it again with Overtaker once more coming down the hill towards the Ascari chicane. This is allowing Sully to just pull away a little bit. And Dan looking to the outside of Overtaker. Overtaker does a good job of keeping it in the middle of the road there. Dan not really anywhere to go. Oh, look at that. If he can't return this season, he'll go with the Jag. Overtaker a little wide. Did he just drop a wheel in the gravel? Not sure. Dan, not the best exit out of Ascari, though. Overtaker's managed to pull a bit of a gap. We drop down to Alex Powell, who's looking on the back of Gray, and that's within six tenths. Simon Blair is within three tenths of Jamal Clowden. Jay Ward as well. As the cameraman will hopefully start to pick him up. He's gaining on Borchette. Sky Schundelmeyer still in the pit lane. Yeah. Paolo and Tukowski. Yeah, Paolo so and And then that is De Hoffner getting who is now ahead of Borra Bex. So De Hoffner is now ahead of him. And De Hoffner making that. Oh, oh, oh. Under acceleration from the Hello Bobber to over start for this one. Oh, that D12 is such a beautiful car. Dan with the fastest lap of the race. Yeah, Dan has done the fastest lap of the race. He's side by side out the first chicane. They're going around the curve of Grande. Dan's going to be on the outside line. He's it front bumper to rear bumper. It's not quite wheel to wheel yet for Dan and Overtaker. Now Dan gets it quite alongside Overtaker. No, he's not. He's lost a bit of momentum later on the brake. So into the second chicane. Overtaker breaks even later. And he's outbraked himself and trying to defend from Dan. And Dan didn't get the best of runs through the corner there, but Overtaker makes up a lot of time, and Dan's now fell into the clutches of Graham. Yeah, uh, Taker's gained a hell of a lot of time with that. Cut that chicane. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a probably in-game warning that they manually give out. Um, just to say, Mike's within a second of Amy Fernie, who's getting past Shaggy. And Mike getting up the inside of Tukowski. Nope, thinks better of it at the first Lesmos and to Harris. Now, oh, who's that off? That looks like Borchere was off. And indeed he was. He's now got Sam coming after him with De Hoffner. Borobex, De Hoffner pulling away from Borobex. And look at this gaggle of cars. Tukowski, Raimi Fern, he's got ahead of Shaggy. And Mike Matthews in there as well as P. Williams, Sherry and Sky Schundermeyer are lapped down already. Sully's off. Sully's off the road. Yeah, Sully has been he's... off the road because Overtaker leads the race from Dan Davis. So where is Sully? Has he had a moment to Tuscari? He's down by Gary Leach in fifth place. So Sully, again in the feature race, it's all gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Sky Schundelmeyer's back, back in, and Sully's coming straight in. So Overtaker leads from Dan Davis. Graham is P3. With Alex Powell fourth, so that is even worse for Mike now, although Mike should get ahead of Sully. Then it's Gary Leach, Jamal Clowden, Simon Blair looking... Close to the back of Cloud in here. Dan still with the fastest lap of the race. Yep. Uh, Harris is. It's no sort of battle between Cloud, Cloud and Blair and Harris. Harris, having, no Harris has had a good good first outing. It, yeah. <laughs> back to the number five, coming to a wet Monza, isn't it? Really oh, shit. First race. To Sam is three tenths of a second. Just going back to Mike Matthews. He's still eight, he's, he's 18th. He can't clear Shaggy. Um, Tukowski, where's Tukowski gone? He's dropped to 21st. We've lost a driver. We've lost Sky Schundelmeyer. So he's retired. Retirement. Yeah. That's another retirement. And yeah, I believe that before. is his second one. Yeah, I believe it is. 
Uh, so, Max. Um, Sky so, is Max still Mulder's great. just cheering for Sky in the chat. Well, Sky's just retired from this race. So that as well is going to give even bigger advantage to the BTC Jaeger Racing because whatever Dan outscores Gary by, he's then got Mike's points on top of that. Uh, Simon Blair, four points to the four tenths to the back of Cloudon. Here is Cloudon. Oh, hop, skip, and a jump over the uh, Ascari chicane. Yep. So, yeah, that was, that's his second retirement. Let's just check. Once I think about whose number is Don't forget, on. three retirements. That leads to a 25 point deduction. Oh, Alex having a look at Graham through power Monica. He's having a look. He's not close enough yet. Dan's gap's gone up two tenths to overtake, so overtake's still pulling away out front. Yep, yeah, there's a bit of. Cloud and Blair and Harris all together still. Jay Ward is two seconds. Yeah, look at this little there. fight here. We've got Ramey Fernie, Paolo. Shaggy's going side by side with Paolo in a minute. Mike Matthews is there as well. Yep, yeah, as. Um, Smokey seems to sort out what he had wrong earlier now, hasn't he? He cool, seems to have. Gaggle. Look, Mike Matthews just can't get past anybody. Um, sparkling, that'll be for a ticket to be raised. I won't repeat that comment live on there, but that would be for a ticket to be raised and obviously looked at by the stewards team. Harris is within three tenths. We'll come back to Mike. Mike is making no progress over here, PM, through the field. No. Well, it's hard to see, isn't it, with all the spray? The best thing Mike can do is, once the pit window opens, pit straight away to try and jump them. He's got six minutes. The weather conditions look like they're staying the same. Unlike Pro-Am last night where it seemed to dry a little bit. Conditions staying the same. Just looking at Dan to overtake. That's come down three tenths since the last time I mentioned. That's now down to 1.9 seconds. And Alex Powell in half a second of Graham. Harris has just lost a bit of time to Simon Blair this lap. The only BMW out there. Now we've got De Hoffner who's got ahead of Sam at some point. And Sam's back within two tenths of him. De Hoffner, good night. Good night. Good night, contender for driver of the day, I reckon, in that B B12. The oldest car. Illis Benny ever came back in his jag. <laughs> and someone ran the red here. But it is a really good night for De Hoffner. But then again, though, horsepower and the yeah. Aston B12. Exactly. Well, here comes Mike Matthews now having a look on Paolo up the inside in towards the parabolic, and Mike's pulled out. Wonder how much damage he's got to his car because he's just not making the progress through the field you'd expect Mike to make. But up the inside of Paolo goes Mike Matthews through the parabolica. So he's up to 16th place now. So it's a couple more points he can take off of Dan. But Dan looks comfortable to extend that championship lead, you'd imagine, at the moment. Yeah. Um, in this race. But Dan will want to win. Dan will want to win here to get the maximum. How many races has points. Dan won this season? He's won two. So, two. not as many yeah. wins as he'd have liked. Dan would want that win. Uh, whatever action we've got. Paolo and Mike is still quite close to Shaggy. has dropped Sam, by the way. That's now nine tenths of a second, and he's only 2.9 off of Borsche from being in the top ten. Alex Pau. Dan's got the gap down to 1.4 seconds now to overtake it. And Alex Pau is now within three tenths, just under four tenths, to Graham. Who's that? Uh, Graham again? Another solid drive for Graham. Yeah. Uh, As we say good uh, evening. Uh, Sorry, Pierre. We say good evening to an old face, Ariel Palowski in the chat. Don Productions from back in the Project Cars two days. Good evening to Ariel in the chat. Sorry, PM. I wouldn't know who that was because that was probably before me or as I came in. In the Clio. Uh, yeah, Alex has had a strong night, considering his wheel might be still stuck at 60% mm. full speed back. He's had a very good night. Ramey, uh, Simon Blair can't get any closer to Cloud, and in fact, Harris has gained on him. They've got Jay Ward catching them two as well, so Harris found his feet in race one, and he's finding his feet even more in this second race. Got good pace in his BMW. Yeah, and he's right in the slipstream of the Ferrari now, as they head towards the first chicane. Harris looks to the outside, outside line. Yeah, Simon Blair's 
Force him to the outside as he's committed to that inside line. And he's gone later on the brakes, does Harris. And he's through. Good move Ooh. from the BMW driver. Great move from the debutant. Yeah, and very to Silva again around the outside of yeah. Fury. Lovely done. Good Dan's back. gap's been opened back up, so Overtake has increased his gap to Dan 1.7. As I say that, then through the first sector, it's back down to 1.3. Going further down the order once again. Shaggy has got Mike Matthews crawling all over the back of him at the moment. And Mike just yeah. has got no pace to come through here. He, he's got to have front aero damage, haven't he? To uh, start to fix the car. Something's wrong with that car. Two and a half minutes until the pit window opens then. And Mike Matthews looking all over the back of the Audi driver. And now is he, he going to look up the inside? No, gets it stopped and turned in. Oh, he's got to tell you what, that's oh, a good ooh. undercut there. No, he didn't, get the, didn't no. get the power down. No, couldn't get the power down and done. So Mike stays behind once again at the moment. Sully, though, 21st. And is a bit of a way behind the rest of the pack. But if one man in clear air can come through, you imagine it's this man. Yeah, I don't know. He's on the lead lap, bro. Yeah, he's on the lead lap. Anymore. Yeah, he's on the lead lap because he's coming through the sector time now. Bang, 24 seconds behind. Lead lap. That's a long way to come back. Yes. Dan's got the first lap again. He's still, he's not lost it. Uh, it's still a long, long way. But, still, there's still yeah, half an hour left. Yeah. You know, he's in, he's in clear air. What times can he pump in? Uh, overtake a lost attempt to Dan in that final sector. Alex Pow now, still within seven tenths as they all come across the line. Timing start to update. Simon Blair trying to stick with Harris. Yeah, into the first chicane. Often has lost time to Bosch. Yeah, that gap was two point something. It's now four point two. But three point three in front of Sam. Yeah. In the newer. Who's in the newer Aston Martin? Mike Matthews now gets close in the strip slipstream. Thinks about pulling out. Can't do so. He's just losing straight line speed when he's out of the slipstream. Is Mike? And Ramey Fernie catching onto the back of Bora Bex, but that Shaggy who's gone straight on at turn one. Yeah. Straight on and. Yeah, rejoins at the closest point of entry. Good evening to Fury's granddad in the chat. Jeffrey, I believe his name is. Jeffrey. <laughs> and uh, Mike Matthews then moves up to P15, so he's ahead of Shaggy. Uh, he's ahead of, yeah, Shaggy. He's actually stationary. Has he collected Paul Williams there? These two are both slow. Um, I wonder if Shaggy's had a moment with Paul Williams rejoining. Sully's taken the fastest lap of the race. And he's now not a million of miles away from the back of them two, so it's more points for Sully in this championship. It is, and Dan's within a second of... Overtaker. Dan is within a second. That gap's down to eight tenths. Well spotted there. The pit window is open, so I wonder, will Overtaker think about pulling it straight into the pits? The problem is, where he'd probably come out is at the back of that gaggle of cars. Yeah, and Trebeed in traffic. I think Overtaker is a clever driver. He'll keep going, he'll keep going and going, and yet him and Dan... Both keep going yeah. here. Graham keeps going. Dan's got the gap down, another two tenths. Alex is in front of Graham. Alex is in front of Graham. Where is Graham? Gary Leach in. Cloudon in. Harris stays out. Simon Blair in. Ward stays out. Borsher is round at Parabolica. No. Borsher is around and cannot get going. And Mike Matthews gains another place. Borsher now tries to flick it round. Bounces off the wall. Angle. And he's just got away. Sam stayed oh, out. The hot, uh, Ramey, Mike Matthews stayed out. That surprises me. Uh, that surprised me. Bora Bex in. Siri stays out. Tukowski in. What about Williams and Shaggy and Sully? Borsher gets going now. Paul Williams coming in. Oh, Shaggy. That looked a little hot. Will Sully in and out stop done? Try and jump people. Yeah, I would, because it's he does. early enough still in the race. And doesn't, doesn't. Thought he was going to come in there, but he didn't. Uh, Dan Davis no, still within six tenths of overtaker. Williams is in. Borsier is in. Shaggy's in, wasn't he? Dan Davis within six tenths of overtaker. Alex is within 1.1 of Dan. And Graham's yeah. only 1.9 behind Alex. Hey, has overtaker's tyres ballooned a little bit? I don't know, he's, um, just put, he's just pulled three tenths out on Dan, so I'm not sure. 
A lot of drivers done. Gary, Simon, Cloud and De Hoffness. Borough, Bex, Tukowski, Shaggy, Dunn. Williams and Borsche still in the pits. Sully's jumped straight up to 15th place, look. And he's eight seconds behind Cloud, and so that shows you where he is. Did Overtaker just have a little moment through Parabolica there? I'm not too sure. Just I was looking at the names on the list. Well, the top three stay out. I've just noticed the um, commitment cone's been knocked into the middle of the circuit on the screen, and it's lit up as well, so it's like a light in the middle of the start finish straight. Harris stays out. Jay Ward's going to come straight in. What about Sam, who's got Ramey Fernie five seconds behind him? Mike's right up the rear wing of Ramey Fernie then. Going to try and tuck underneath here at Parabolica is Mike. And Ramey Fernie on the AstroTurf. That's not where you want to be. And Mike boxes. Get it stopped, Mike. <laughs> oh, that was quick in. Series in. And Sheary, series in behind him. So Gary Leach will continue on his way, as will Simon Blair, as will Cloudon. Simon jumped Cloudon, I do believe, in the pits. And Sully, who's only 8.2 off the back of these guys, as Dan's within a tenth of Overtaker. So what is going wrong for Overtaker at the minute? The problem is, is Dan's taking Alex with him. Dan a little wide out of the first Lesmo, kept it on the grass a little bit. So has Overtaker just lost a bit of pace, or is Dan just caught onto the bike? But now Alex powers with them, PN, as well. Hey, so it's when now Alex has been released from being stuck by in the dirty air with Graham, the Aston can shift. Mm. The Aston can shift. And shifting it is. Where's the Hoffner? The Hoffner's pitted. Yeah, he's pitted. I wonder where we see Sully jump up to. Because he didn't pit. And I wonder where we see all the other guys come out. So Sully jumps up to 12th. And he's seven seconds off the back of Cloud. And so he's just going to go, I reckon, as long as he can. He's going to do it the other way around. Go as long as he can, create as big a gap as he can, then pit. Dan's lost a lot of time. Obviously, that was through the second Lesmo. Overtake. Oh, Ooh, oh sells the dummy. Thought about pitting. Yeah, well, good job he didn't cross that pit entry line. So it's overtaken from Dan. Did. Alex Powell. Then it is Graham. All stay out. Harris stays out. Cloud on the back of Ramey, uh, uh, Simon Blair. Jay Ward on the back of Sheary. No, that's a little bit side by side here. Oh, Jay Ward's Jay. wide through the first Lesmo. Here comes Sheary. Up the inside on the exit to the first Lesmo. He's through. He's up to P16. Mike Matthews ahead of this. And if he repaired his damage, he's only five seconds off the back of Borough Bex. De Hoffner, 12 seconds behind Sully. And nobody Sully pitted pit here. Well, Sully's now coming around Parabolica. So, does he peel into the pits? Oh, that's a very loose McLaren yeah. at the back of that. <laughs> oh, oh. No, stays, stays out. out. Down within seven tenths of Overtaker. Just drop back down to Jay Ward and Siri. They're still fighting out. Jay Ward's actually got back ahead of Siri here. So, a great scrap down the order. Siri looking to tuck underneath out of Jay Ward. He's got the drive. Like he's, he's got, got the, drive the drive in the yeah. Lambo. Well, let's see down the start straight then. Lamborghini versus Ferrari. The Evo 2 versus the 296. The 296 is past the straight line. Look it at is, it. Yeah. Cool. I mean, Look that might be down to cool. set up as well. But yeah, Jay Ward stays ahead. So it is overtaker from Dan, from Alex Powell. The question is do any of the top eight pit? Nine minutes left of the pit window, so still a lot of pit window to come. There is. Does take a pit this time? No, but he stays out. Dan, Dan thought about yeah, it. Yeah, I thought Dan was going to sell the dummy there. Alex stays out as well. As does Graham. There's Harris coming. He does not. Sam's not around Parabolica yet to no. see if he's done a pit. Simon Blair's pulled two seconds clear of Cloud, and so that is that one over. He's two and a half behind Gary Leach himself. Uh, Sam stays out. Thought about it. The angle towards yeah, the so. Ramey Fernie stays out as well. Paolo stays out. So it is just now Sully. Uh, he's going to pull some points back. He'll be better than race two last week for him, but he's going to pull some points back here. Yeah, well, race two, it was quite late in the race when he got. 
it happened. It was the half of the 13 seconds off of back rubbing, but that means well really against McLaren. Not a fair contest, and I say BOP with the cars again. Dan's back within four tenths of overtaker. Alex this time hasn't come with Dan. And that is a car in front. That is car 45. That is Shaggy, who is nearly a lap down to the leaders. Leaders obviously yet to pit. But Dan coming back at overtaker here. Overtaker looked a little wiggly through uh, a scary chicane there. The fans' vote went tied for Sully and Overtaker to win this race. We're going to end the poll there, seeing as we're halfway through it. And Dan looked like he got a better run than Overtaker out of Ascari. Pulls out to have a look at Parabolica. He's not going to do it this time, though. Nope. Overtaker keeps it very tight. Now Dan stays tighter. They both drift out wide. Are these two going to pit? No, oh, Overtaker, I don't know if that's going to defend or sell in the dummy. I think it's going to defend. He's keeping that inside line covered. He's staying in a straight line, which has allowed Dan to pull to the outside. And we've seen Dan already at one chicane later on the brakes. That was earlier in the race. Will he be later on the brakes now? Overtaker comes back across, which he's well allowed to do. Squeezes Dan. And he hits Overtaker now has to cut the chicane again. And he's got a yield there. If not, he would have gained a lot of time. No. He's got a yield at, I'm sorry, but he's So there. twice Dan has put Overtaker under pressure and Overtaker's had to take to the escape road at the chicane and now Dan is coming under pressure from Alex Powell right over the rear wing through the Curva Grande. Now to the... Uh, Roger... Uh, the yeah, uh, Ro Roger, yeah, sure, okay. yeah. Dan Hopper at the turn. And Alex Powell looking quick. Graham in and out the pits. Where is he? He's going to tumble down the order a little bit. So I didn't even see Graham was the only call this lap. Two pits. And Dan now under pressure from Alex Powell in this one. But that is twice. Overtake has gone across the chicane. And gained time. He's gained time. A little, little more so on that occasion, yes. Yeah, I, I reckon Dan had put that in. <laughs> I won't be surprised. Sully still with the fastest lap of the race. <laughs> he's probably pumping them in, isn't he? <laughs> but we can't yeah. see what he's doing yeah. lap time wise. Is he uh, yeah, yeah I think you can lap? press timetable and press on him. Alex was a bit wide out of his He was a little wide out of his scary, which is going to give Dan some breathing space. This is the closest fight on track at the moment. So, yeah, interesting to see. But overtaken now oh, over a second clear of Alex Power. Who's going to blink first, though, out of these top three? Dan blinks Dan's first. In. Dan's in. Yeah. So I Dan see, uh, blinks first. Harris stays out. And it's now nearly 20 seconds from Harris to Sam. Good race from Harry, so I know others have got you know others are going to come back in the pit lit, in the pit stops like Graham and Gary and Simon Blair, but it's been he's a good been race clean. from Harry. Yeah, he's kept it nice. He made a good move around the outside on Simon Blair. Sam stays out. Ramey Fernie, he's gone long. Dan Davis is done, and Dan Davis comes off the limiter. So Sam just goes past Dan. Dan is off his limiter now. Where is Ramey yep. Fernie? Ramey Fernie will get Dan. Paolo is in the pits. Paolo's in. We've got four minutes of the window left. So now Alex has been released from Dan. Can Alex put Overtaker under pressure? And Sully stays out. As Overtaker now getting onto the back of Shaggy. That will be to lap Shaggy down in 19th place. I'm going to be interested to see where Sully comes out. Was last by a country mile. And at the minute, the gap to him and to Hoffner is... 17 seconds so they're 19 yeah. to Borobex so yeah, 23 to Mike yeah, I reckon he could come out just behind Mike to be fair in between Mike and Jay Ward possibly especially if he just does a drop and stop a stop and drop yeah and go completely agreed here comes Overtaker then not gaining on the back of Shaggy as quick as he'd probably like but saying that he's got to pit either this lap or the next lap. Yeah, potentially could get maybe two after this. Overtaker's going to react to Dan and come in. Alex Powell also into the pits. And now the drivers starting to think of pitting here. 
And Dan Davis within six tenths of Raimi Fernie is now going to be charging. Harris also comes in. Will Raimi pit? Dan is getting so close to the back of Raimi Fernie. He's flying at the moment. What does Sam do? Sam's not even at a score yet. At Parabolica, sorry. He's... Dan's now got to wait behind Raimi Fernie unless he can get past him. Overtaker's now away. And Dan's now to the outside of Raimi Fernie. Is this Raimi Fernie going to come into the pits? It is. Here comes Dan. Here comes Overtaker. Overtaker is off his limiter now. And has Dan just done an offer? Has Dan got the undercut? Well, there's Overtaker. There's He'll be coming up to speed. And Dan, going to go around the outside. Yes, he does. He yes, gets he... it done. And now Dan doesn't need to do it at the chicane. It's now Overtaker who's got to put the pressure on him. Both of them, though. Good pit stop from Overtaker and a good outlap from Dan. They've cleared Alex Power Country Mile. Yeah, and Blair's cleared... Just cleared Harris. Oh, that's close to the first chicane. Now, look at this. Harris, Cloudon and Simon Blair with Graham just ahead. No, with Gary Leach just ahead. Where did Sully... Where does Sully come out? Where's Mike Matthews a second? There's Mike. And I believe that's Sully. Sully's legs are in the pits. Yeah, there goes Jay Ward. There goes Siri. She's a little further back than I thought, but uh, still... Good it's stuff. Tukowski. Oh, Cloudon over the second chicane. Sorry, Pian. He is Tukowski. He's gained what would have been about 30 seconds. Yeah. He's gained a lot of time. So he gained a lot of time. It puts Mike up to 14th place. Mike's got a lot of work to do in this race to get the last couple of places. De Hoffner back into the top 10. And there you see Gary Leach, Simon Blair, M. Harris and Cloudon. Sam needs to pit now. <laughs> well, he's coming he up does. to Parabolica if he doesn't pick this lap that is going to be the end of that Sully did Sully get ahead of Amy Fernie yes there we go then and he's only four tenths off the back of Tukowski so Sully all, all of a sudden looking at 16th place from what was 21st a moment ago he's gone long and it'll hopefully work for him overtakers within nine tenths of Dan Sam is in the pits uh, Overtaker's disappeared. Overtaker has disappeared. He's behind Graham. He's so, gone off. He's got damage. Has he got damage to the front of his car there? Yes, he oh, has. Oh, that's wiggling damage. on the straight a little bit. Is that him wiggling to feel the damage? You see no, the bonnet the slightly wiggling. lifted. Oh, Ooh, big moment stop. again. Yeah, it doesn't want to stop across the chicane. That's a big cut. <laughs> that's, that's doing some strange things on the front of that car. And a damage when you're a pad user. So That's, yeah, that, there's something not right with that. Look at how twitchy that car is. Because Dan's got a no, quite a comfortable six second lead. He has lead got a quite now. comfortable six second lead all of a sudden. Sam's out the pits. Oh, you just see him very slide. He's overtaker there. I wonder if he's put six on. But it wasn't long enough for. No, his pit stop was too quick for Slicks because otherwise he'd have came out way behind Graham and uh, and and he'd have been jumped by Alex in the pit lane. But that's not a happy car. That is not well, a I happy car one, now. I think that time was because of his damage. That car's not tracking right. Well, De Hoffner's P10. He's got uh, Paolo gaining on the back of him. Borobex! Oh, he's gone round! All on his own in the second chicane. We've just seen De Hoffner now cut the chicane. And I wonder if he's gained a bit more than the nine tenths of a second. But now Mike's all of a sudden gaining on the back of Paolo and De Hoffner. This for P10 as Burabex has just lost it all on his own. Yeah, and how quick is Gary going to catch Overtaker? That is a big question. Well, now it's that Dan totally... leads this race, that's 55 points for Dan. And at Mike at the moment is only P13. That's only 18 points. So Dan is going to score nearly 40 points over Mike. Uh, three seconds. Three so he's got ahead of Tukowski. So Gary catching Overtaker. Overtaker stayed out. Well, you've got no choice really, have you? Oh, you've got to stay out. No, Alex didn't cut the first chicane. Who's in front of... Who's the 2-2... Two -two I'm sure I saw a car there cutting Whoa, the first chicane. Whoa, Harris has gone round behind. 
Simon Blake. Luckily off. And that will allow Clowden to get through. Sam's nowhere near at the moment. Then it's De Hoffner, Paolo. Mike gaining on Paolo now. And Sully's not far back off the back of Siri. He was not far off the back of Borough Bex. Sully still with a fast slap. Probably banger after banger. It probably was. Dan's probably not going to be bothered about a point. It's obviously Mike now needs to consolidate the amount of points that Dan Davis pulls away. Mike needs to get ahead of Paolo and, pop, and possibly De Hoffner, yeah. De Hoffner's gap to Sam is nine seconds. Mm. So I don't think he's going to catch that. Gary's now 1.9 off the back of Overtaker. Could Overtaker come into play here, depending on his damage and depending on what happens. Gary's within a second nearly now. You yeah, go on board with it. Gary Leach. You just heard, did you hear the McLaren in front of Gary there? So gentle on the power coming through a score and looked oh, him look in a straight the line. That is all over the place. Gary's going to have him into Parabolica. He, he's, he's bent something on the front of that McLaren, I think, Overtaker has. Yeah. I probably went off and proved a couple of laps ago there at Ascari, but because we were walking Overtake his wide through Parabolica, I think he's let Gary go. And there goes Gary, so moves up to P4 now, does Gary Leach. Simon Blair already within 1.6. And they're not far away, and there's Cloudon as well. Back down to Paolo and Mike Matthews now then. So Mike trying to look on the back down to Siri, who's, who's three tenths off the back of Borobek. Sully's coming with him. He's within a second as well. So a great fight down the order. Siri up in 15th place. Here's Paolo. And Defending Mike. From. Mike side by side with Paolo. He's got that inside line for the chicane at turn one as well. Who's up with more ponies? Or oh, straight line speed anyway for wing angle. The Ferrari or the, the McLaren? The McLaren looks like the Ferrari looks like it's pulled ahead. Late on the brakes. Mike Matthews up to P11. So now for P11, Mike will be scoring 20 points. We'll only lose 35 to Dan. Still a lot of points, but he's now only about 1.7 off the back of De Hoffner. So we'll want to close in that gap as quick as he can. Siri has got Tukowski and Sully coming at him first and second in race one, or 16th and 17th in race two. And now Borobex is coming under pressure from the fastest man on the circuit at the moment, Siri, at Sully with a fastest lap, and Siri... And Simon Blair within 1.2 of Overtaker. He is. Oh, series round! Oh, all on his own. No, I don't think so. No. Sully oh, was no. slow. Sully's not moving either. Sully's stationary. Yeah, Sully, I think, has tapped Siri there. And he's waiting for him. And he's waiting yeah. for him. He is waiting for him, and now he's moving. There's the flash, probably say sorry. Oh, Overtaker, pretty sideward through Parabolica there on entry. And Simon Blair is now just going to absolutely mug him off down the straight. That McLaren, Overtaker's not pitting. He's getting this to the end. He doesn't care where he finishes. He's, this is coming home. Yeah. As Blair looks down the inside into the first chicane. Oh, look at that under McLaren under Blake. Yeah, it's just it's so nonsense. twitchy. Doesn't want to stop. It's as twitchy as ever. Simon Blair through. Next up is Cloudon. And then Harris is only 5.9 behind Cloudon. So he'll be on Overtaker within no time. The bonus for Overtaker is Sam is nine seconds behind. So he's got yeah. to go at more than a second a lap here. Mike's already within a second of um, De Hoffner. Oh, just every time that, oh, that pink McLaren of Overtakers hits the brakes, oh, it's so squirrely. Cloudon missed the chicane. So we drop back to Mike and De Hoffner. It's a decent comeback drive from Mike. I've seen him do better. <laughs> he might not like you for saying that. <laughs> I, think, I think he'll take it as an honest opinion. I've seen him do co better comeback drives. This isn't his best. Probably because you can't see when you try to overtake him, Bobby. Cloud and now right on the rear wing of Overtaker, but just can't get through. This is a narrow part of the circuit, probably the narrowest part of the circuit. And Cloud at the minute thinks better of it. This is going to bring Harris back into play. Look, gap down to 4.9. 
Now Clouding okay. gets a great run through a scorey. He's not quite side by side. Jay Ward is getting close to the back of Paolo. Siri's now been overtaken by Sully. So Jay Ward on the back of Paolo. Mike's trying to get onto the back of De Hoffner. And Clouding. Still not past overtake yet. No, and Mike's not past De Hoffner. Because now that V12 screams into life from the. Um, right. V8 now Clouding will surely get up the inside at turn one. Here he comes. Look at the closing speed. Clouden to overtaker. The difference in speed there. That McLaren is wounded. Badly wounded. Very wounded. I won't be surprised if he's got like engine damage. Mm. Harris, 4.2 right. seconds. What can he do now? Mike trying to get ahead of De Hoffner down in towards turn one. Mike to get inside the top ten. It'll be a few more points as well. That'll put Mike only 33 points. He's lost out to Dan. Not the 35 that he's currently losing out. He's going to be on the outside of turn one, though. Can he go right oh. around the outside? He tries to. De Hoffner squeezes him. Oh, Mike taps him. And Mike goes through, flashes the lights. Did De Hoffner lose it, though, on the curb? Did De Hoffner lose Slightly. it? The other thing is, how far alongside was Mike? Yeah. Bob will find out if it goes in. <laughs> Jay Ward half a second off the back of Paolo. Yeah, just about to say that. And these two right there for Mike and De Hoffner. Mike 8.9 to Sam. I think Overtaker is probably going to stay ahead of Sam. I don't think he's going to stay ahead of... Harris. Harris. Harris may get overtake. Overtake could come away with an eighth place, which with the car wobbling as much as that, good job. Ah, I've been worse. <laughs> I really have been. Car held together by gaffer tape and cable ties. That's not a sport in general, actually. And lucky for the Hoffner there, really. Yeah. That's Harris, two and a half seconds behind Taker. Yeah, we'll see what happens as they cross the line. So Sam is just coming into Parabolica now. 8.7 the gap, Mike Matthews to Sam. Oh, he's got to go somewhere. He's got to go some. <laughs> as Mike three seconds not made up quicker. any time. Harris to overtake are still two and a half seconds. Not really many fights on the track, so a running order at the moment is Dan Davis, who leads from Alex Powell. Graham is P3 with Gary Leach, P4. Simon Blair, P5. Jamal Cloudon, P6. Overtaker is 7th, but really walking wounded. Then it is Harris, Sam, Mike Matthews, De Hoffner, Paolo, Ward, Borough, Bex, Tikowski, Fernie, Sully, who is right on the back of Fernie at the moment. So it was 4.2. I reckon Raimi Fernie's had a moment here as well. Yeah. Hopefully he ain't caught um, Leon's flu. They, well, they don't actually live in the same building, so Smokey tells us. I think Leon lives with his mother. That's probably why he is in. So uh, that disproves Welsh's theory. That disproves Welsh's theory, yeah. Uh, Shaggy P. <laughs> Williams, Borchere rounding out the top 21. We have lost Tibbs from this race. Paolo yeah. takes to the chicane now. A few late breakings from McLaren's here. Yeah, but... Late breakings or desperation to try to stay ahead? Well, he was arguably attacking De Hoffner and, and outbreaks himself. We're into the final four minutes. Dan Davis starts another lap now. Lap number 20 for Dan. At 21, he starts. What a good night's worth of racing. Yeah. Kind of clean, what we've seen so far. I'm sure we'll find oh, De Hoffner and Paolo side by side at the moment. In towards Ascari. Who stays in front? Paolo's Mr. Chicane because the Hoffner's car was right there. Yeah, and now Jay Ward's going to attack him on the exit. Oh, they bumped! Paolo's off. Where's Ward? Still Ward, going. He's still going. So, yeah, the Hoffner lives on the fight another day. Can he be in the boat for driver of the day to Hoffner? In that Aston. <laughs> I think that's a worthy driver of the day as well. Paolo, Alex, very quiet race now in P2. Seven seconds off the back of Dan. Five in front of Graham. Harris is on overtaker. 
as they come into the uh, Vodgy chicane. Yeah, we're watching uh, Sully up the inside of Raimi Finn. Keep your eye on Harris and PN and tell us if he gets past overtaker. But uh, Sully here, through he goes. Job done. Taker's car is not happy. Oh, it's not finished yet, actually. Raimi Fern is still there. Back up the inside on the exit of the first chicane. Now through the curve of Grande, still side by side. And no, Raimi Fern, he gets the job back done. Jump to Harris a second. Harris is still behind Taker. Yeah. Taker's done well. Jeez, you know, to keep, the problem, one, to keep he? it on the track. Two, you know, to not lose it anymore. Three. And three, Quit. to not lose as many places. He's still scoring points. Right exactly. Tukowski's on the back of Borabex, who's on the back of Paolo. Jay Ward has gone up the road. Sully still on that rear wing of Smoky Devil. Raimi Fernie, Harris. Overtake. Look Taking how goal. wide he is through Parabolica there, just because he probably can't turn the car in. More than likely, because he's a fellow pack user to me and... I don't think there's many of us bad users left, actually. Sully now mm, looking up the inside into Ascari. He's got ahead of Raimi Fernie. He's got past Raimi Fernie. So a good move there for uh, Sully, who made the mistake on his own, we do believe, in this race. Yeah. As I tell you what, Overtaker's still ahead here of Harris. He's st still ahead, but he's... Oh, 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 oh. He's not going to yield this. He's going to fight this one. Is, Is he? he? Yeah, he's still going to fight this one. He's overtaker. Harris right around the outside. And that Harris gets the move done. Good job. Good move. Good fight. I mean, overtaker put up as much of a fight there as he could. He, he is so wounded. He's so wounded. Sam's 12 seconds down the work road. So I think take an eighth place in a wounded car for overtaker. That's not a bad result. It's not a bad result at all. Borobek's gaining on the back of Paolo. And Tukowski with them as well. And where's Mike? Six seconds off the back of Sam. Just not going to do it. He'll probably be asking Dan to do one more lap. Dan, seven seconds clear. There will be one more lap because he can't slow down that much just yet. No, so Dan starts the final lap of this race. So Overtaker's just got to hang on for one more lap. Really? Well, lap and a half where he is on the circuit right about now. Well, lap and a third. A scary chicane. If you have liked what you've seen here, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we go live. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like what you see, and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button as well. Dan Davies will be back live for Suzuka at 8 pm BST next time out. As the clocks go forward, overtake a very wide again through the exit of Parabolica there. Um, and then myself and PM Motorsport will be back live next Wednesday. Dan's actually got his lights off on my screen. He has on mine as well. But I'm just looking at his stream. His lights are on. That's the game glitch. So, yeah, I'm not, not his sure. real lights are on, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what that is all about, but hey. I can see on his stream his lights are on, so that's no worries. Uh, but yeah, myself and PM will be back live 8pm BST for Pro at Suzuka next Thursday. Paolo's been passed by Borra Bex. I'm going to miss that owl's extra. Paolo's bus. in the pits. He is in the pits, and that's a return of pit as well. I think so, yeah. Well, it's because not a retirement. It's not a retirement. He's done enough of the He's race, done the three-quarter so... mark, but that'll give everybody an extra position. But Dan Davis here, he's not been the fastest man on circuit tonight, but he's about to take his uh, third race win of the season. Has not won since race one of Alton Park. It is going to be his 77th race win. 8.6 seconds up the road. He's flashing the lights this time. Let's hope he doesn't spin it this time. He does not. Dan Davis, a 77 race winner here. He wins the second race and takes the fastest lap on the last lap of the race, PM. Oh, saved it just for the end. Alex Powell comes home for P2. Great result for him. Graham is going to come home for a solid P3. Good pair of results for him tonight. Gary Leach, P4. P4. What a result from Gary. Great drive, that. Simon Blair is going to come home for a P5. 
Jamal Cloudon will take P6. Harris on debut will not take P7. P7. No, not bad at all. Hats off to overtake a great drive with a damaged car. That's going to be P8. <laughs> Fantastic drive. Completely Sam only gained completely. three seconds on that last lap. Sam, P9, not a bad result for him, P9. It's his best. It no. Equals, no, it's not his best. His best is eighth. Mike Matthews, though, P10. Not the race for Mike Matthews. De Hoffner in his Aston Martin. A good 11th place, 10th and 11th oh, for him tonight. Just, him. yeah, just ahead of Ward. There, so Ward comes home for 12th. Tukowski will take 13th. Here comes Sully. Sully, again, not the race too for him. First fastest lap, 13th. First fastest lap, 14th. They have been his racers so far. Burra Bex will just hang on in there for 15th place over that of Ramey Fernie. Sherry oh. in 17th. Yep, Sherry 17th. We just waited. Borshier also returned to pits and somebody has left the lobby. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, who was it? Was Overtaker. No, it wasn't. No, he's still on. No, he's 7th. Uh, he's seventh, so it's someone ahead of Overtaker. It was Alex. It was Alex, yeah. So all them results I've just inputted are probably wrong until we see the end uh, result, then. Well, everyone's returned to the pit, so we've got to wait for Toma now. So, yeah, Alex was P... No, it's not there, because Alex disappeared. It's not updated. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do them right at the end. Uh at the moment, then, to Shaggy, I think, will be 18th. Yeah, and we just wait P. for the final stuff. timing screen. At the moment, then, we will await Dan Davis to join us in the commentary box, as he does so now. Again, we are just going to wait through. We can't update the tables at the moment. So we may as well speak with Dan briefly while we wait for the final classification. With Alex leaving, obviously, we are unsure who's finished. We're at the bottom half of the grid. Um... I believe Borshear might be 21st. Got to look at his lap. Siri, we believe, will be 17th. P. Williams will be 18th. Uh, Paolo, 19th. We believe... Here we go. So, yeah, no, Paolo, 20th. P. Williams, 19th. Uh, Shaggy was 18th. Yeah. 17th yeah. was Siri. Yeah. yeah, which means Sky Shundermeyer 22nd. Losser didn't take to the start of the race. Boucher 21st. And then Paolo 20th in the race. De Hoffner 11th. Yes, he was. Right. Uh, so we can now bring you the final tables at the moment after today. And the, well, the top 15 are the only 15 who can win the championship now. It was 28 and below because of Dan Davis's race win. It is now. 16 and below, we can't. Dan Davis, 41 points clear of Mike Matthews. Alex Power is 124 behind in second place. Gary Leach moves into fourth ahead of Joe, who stays P5, overtaker five points behind him in sixth. Clouden now goes ahead of Sky Schundelmeyer, and it's Graham in ninth. Simon Blair, 10th. Ramey Fernie, 11th. Them two swap around. Paolo, 12th ahead of Luke. Siri goes ahead of Nash for 14th. Borobex is 16th with Sam in 17th. To Hoffner. Moves up to 18th, and it is from S2 and Borobex down that cannot win the championship. Clarble, 19th. P. Williams moves into the top 20. Sully, 21st with J. Ward, 22nd. Darren Yeo, 23rd. Tukowski, 24th. Andrew Taylor, 25th. Losser, Coutiers, Defiz. Dennis Newman, Graham Sutcliffe, Bo uh, Borchette up to 31st. Globewriter, Shaggy up to 33rd. Dan Brave, Harris, Tech Leader, Costa Marshall, and then Roy. My uh, constructors' tables, we've give, we'll give these a little refresh as well. And there is only now four teams that can win the Constructors. So, because of Dan's great drive, four teams can win it. It is Simplay Racing, 330 points clear of BTC Jaeger. Gary obviously scoring points on their own with 639 left. And there's 213 up for grabs each week. So, that could be done next week for Simplay Racing. Mathematically, that could be uh, the equation. Let me just take a look at that and see if that is correct. Yeah, depending on what they outscore them by, that could be done next week. BTC Jaeger then are 130 points clear of the Haggis Munchers. Team FBR just behind them. Then it's Ottinger All-Star, Stage 2 Motorsport. Red Rum stay ahead of uh, Button Basher Racing. Greasy Bandit P9 just behind Button Bashers. Then it's BDM, Effect Motorsport, JB, Tyrol Dams 
and Audi Sport. And in the manufacturers, McLaren obviously won last week. Then it is BMW ahead of Ferrari, but Ferrari are five points behind BMW in that manufacturer's uh, standing. So all up for grabs for second place. Porsche, Lamborghini, then Porsche, Aston Martin, Mercedes, Bentley, Audi 190 behind Bentley. So Audi have really closed that gap as well. Then it is Honda and Nissan. But we can now speak with your 77-time race winner here at Simplay Motorsport, the seven-time champion, Dan Davis. That was a good victory. Oh, man, that was, uh, that was intense. That was intense. But, yes, that's what I needed. Mike having issues. Yeah, that's what I needed. But uh, first things first, big up Alex, big up Overtaker, Mike, uh, who else? Gary, um, I think also P. Williams as well all the drivers I raced tonight other than the first lap incident at race one it has been very clean very fair and first things first I want to apologize to overtaker when I came up to him at the chicane I seemed to lost front downforce and braking and gave him a slight tap I waited and waited and waited and gave him a bit more of a gap as well but uh yeah uh, I, I got it done I got a race win when did that one happen Dan because I don't think we caught that one on stream uh, Alex got quite close to us, if you remember. Oh, okay, so, yeah. at one so point. then, yeah. So literally, just before that was the contact, I gave Overtaker a tap on the rear. He went a little bit wide on the second corner, and um, yeah, I was just waiting and waiting and waiting, and then they both, both Graham and Alex, came up behind us. So what happened to? I for as long as possible. Sorry, what happened to Sully? Because we saw him leading. We was watching battles down the pack, he... and then all of a sudden, you and Overtaker was through. He dropped it at Ascari, on the exit of Ascari, yeah. like he hit the exit curb all on his own. None of us touched him. He was all, all just dropped it by himself and around he went, So, which was a shame for him. And he went straight in the wall, damaged straight away. So, Now, the start of that race, yeah. he was putting under, overtake it under some immense pressure um, to the point where overtake missed his braking a couple of times. Did you have a mistake through the second chicane where overtake went deep? Yeah, so... The problem I was having, I wanted to follow Sully and overtake around. I didn't actually want to race him because I wanted to clear Alex. I know what Alex's pace is like, especially when he gets going. And it, it was just I wanted to work with them and not against them. Mm. And they, they were both quite slow in the kind of start of the race. And I got alongside Overtaker. He missed his brakes and went deep. And then I touched the outside curb and the rear snapped on me on entry. And I was just trying to hang in there to not go around, which obviously brought me back so where overtake cut the corner and gained an advantage i was too busy having my own movement to mm. really capitalize on that so i mean yeah he, he even it, a, i think he gave the time up ever so slightly but it is it is what it is i'm not going to put it in it's it's racing at the end of the day he made a mistake and i made a mistake so it was a good fight between yourself though you managed to get the undercut in the pit lane and um talk us through his mistake because i assume he'd made the mistake trying to catch you back up after you got past him in the pits I'm not actually sure. I don't know if he was possibly still carrying that rear end damage that I possibly gave him. Um, and again, I apologize for that. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but uh, the dirty air behind the cars in the wet seemed horrendous. I was tiptoeing behind Overtaker for so long. Um, and just being cautious, careful on the throttle. And just when you're in dirty air, it was just horrendous. But uh, I guess he had a, a taste of that dirty air and, and he went off. So I can't really see, to be honest, because it's pitch black after there when he made his mistake though it was play, pretty plain sailing for yourself you managed to stay out in front and, and just build a gap yeah build a gap i was just maintaining the gap to alex and i had a bit of a sketchy moment i saw poor Cher going off and he looked like he was about to come back on track but span it round. so i was like we'll stay there um but uh yeah managed to keep it all together and i managed to get around parabolica while flashing the lights and not dropping it on the last lap so uh you know um I make up for silverstone's flashing <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then and just to rub salt in the wound for Mike, I tried going for fastest lap near the end and got it. So I was more happy about that, to be honest. Yeah, got the fastest lap. That obviously gives you the extra point that puts 40-odd points between you and Mike. And I said to Mike in the first race, I'll ask you the same now. Constructors looks pretty much in the bag. Is it gloves off between the pair of you two now? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if race one didn't prove it, <laughs> I don't know... Um, what will um i know for a fact that me and mike are very much uh, as fair as we come and we want to have a great race but we're not going to be stupid um but uh he's got more to i got more to risk while he's got more to gain so uh 
it's all in Mike's hands. I'm just going to keep turning up and doing what I do. He knows I'm going to be consistent, and he knows I'm not going to do anything stupid. So it's who basically doesn't make the mistake, really, I think, from now until Kyle Army. Two seconds I like, and I think he's got two seconds that he likes. So, yeah, yeah we'll see how we go. We go to Suzuka next week. Obviously, Lamborghini... Uh, I believe you've driven around there back in the project cars two days. What can you do? What do you expect to do next week? Um, the last time I drove Suzuka was in the Audi, um, and I wasn't too keen around Suzuka there. Um, uh, <laughs> but um, I don't know what to expect from this car. It's, it's kind of a weird car. It's not seems to be strong in one particular area. It, it understeers a little bit, so I might struggle in the S's. But I don't know until I have the package. I'm just hoping that it's dry for once at Suzuka. I love a wet race, but Suzuka in the wet is just horrendous. Um, and hopefully we can have a great fight like me and Fury did a couple of seasons ago in the GT4s. So, uh, Which Mike Suzuka won. Were, he did win. Um, <laughs> so hopefully I'm hoping for Joe to come back for Suzuka because that will be fun. Indeed it will. Dan, thank you very much. Congratulations on your race win tonight. If you want to hear more of Dan Davis, he'll be back live in the commentary box next Wednesday evening, 8 p.m. BST for that one. Don't forget, in the United Kingdom, the clocks go forward this weekend. So it'll be 8 p.m. BST for Dan Davis in that one. Uh, can Dan, I, yep, can sure I make a shout-out to, to all the drivers that I raced tonight? Uh, big up all the drivers from P. Williams, Gary, Mike and uh, Overtaker Alex as well all very respectful Graham as well all fantastic tonight we could have ended up in a complete disaster with these conditions and the Xbox problems we're having but everyone was pretty much clean fair and uh, we, we weren't driving like amateurs so uh, congratulations to all the drivers for surviving this round and uh, look forward to Suzuka indeed uh, Peter, Dan you got the uh, audience's vote for driver of the day I can't see where the poll has gone, but you was on 44%. So you did get the audience's vote for driver of Woo! the day. Pian, final thoughts from yourself and uh, driver of the day for you. Well, my driver of the day, I'm going to give it to Hoffner. He had two solid results, really, for the ageing Aston Martin. That up against the newer cars, and it was probably just blasted if he put in the straight. Uh, Monza, that was interesting. Uh, Lisa Zucker's going to be dry. <laughs> I mean, that's a way to give the weather away, isn't it? Just tell them. Right? Well, I've already, I've already yeah, I know, but the audience don't know. That's, that's what gets them back. Uh, I'm going to give my driver of the day to Simon Blair, sixth and fifth. I thought he's had a fantastic, solid night's worth of points. Good results for him tonight. Toss-up for me between him and Gary Leach. Uh, yeah, Simon Blair, I'm going to give mine to. Yeah, Suzuka, we turn to next. It's going to be fantastic to see. As Pian said, it is dry. That spoils the fun of getting to find out what the weather will be as the audience. Ah, you gave it away now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Suzuka will be the racetrack next week. Pro-Am, 8pm, BST. Dan Davis will be bringing you all the live action of that one. And me and Pian will be back in the commentary box for Pro, 8pm, BST. 47, 41 points is the championship gap. Constructors can be won next week. And Dan Davis now has the upper hand over his teammate properly for the first time this season. Who will take more glory or can Mike come back? One way to find out. Hit that bell to be notified. When we do go live, smash the thumbs up button. And as always, hit that big red subscribe button to find out all the action. If you want to get involved here at Simplay Motorsport, make sure you follow us on our social media, Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. And if you would like to get involved with some of the racing or commentary, stewarding, whatever it would like you'd like to do, head over to our Discord and uh, let us know. We look forward to seeing you in the future. We look forward to seeing you in Japan next week. From all of us here at Simplay Motorsport, good night. Good night.